I told you. I told you I'm a noob. Big, big noob. Anyway, welcome in, guys. Welcome in, guys. Hope you enjoyed the little head bop. Big song, this. Big fan. Thanks for coming. I mean, oh, I'm reading through the chat. So many people here. Thanks for dropping by, guys. Is it still muted? Can you hear me? You can hear me okay, can you? I can see the chat's still not working. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Big noob. Finn, thanks for following my man. Yeah, maybe one day, Blackwell, we'll, we'll play some KSI just for you. <laughs> oh, guys, thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Um, I'm just going to do this. That's a bit better. That's a bit better. Anga, you're already subscribed to your new channel on YouTube. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to attempt to use my new um, my new feature here. Are we ready? Hey, there we go. Look at that. So if you want, you can catch the stream replays over there on my, uh, I created a live YouTube channel, which you guys can go and follow. So up to you guys if you want to do that. Um, but yeah, look at this. Not not much for Twitch noob no longer. <laughs> I mean, starting off talking on mute doesn't get much worse. Um, but anyway, let's go to some PCM, shall we? All right, here we go. Here we go. There we are. So, as you see, we have the Vault of Lenciana today. Um, I said we'll skip it in the last one, but I, I think we'll play it because it looks like a fun race, to be fair, and we have a strong team going. Um, we have the New Zealand national champs, and we should make our way to the UEE tour and maybe Omloop as well today. So let's get straight into it. Thanks, thanks everyone for coming. Um, if you want me, if you want to catch up on the first races, you can do that on the video um, over on the old the old YouTube channel as Morty's doing. I do have a normal YouTube channel as well. Thank you, mate. Um, but yeah, I think there's not much else to cover. Let's just dive straight into some racing, shall we? Um, not mess around any longer. Um, let me know on the music volume, as always, if it's too loud, too quiet, um, or we can just get it off if you're if you're not about that. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. We'll go check everything that's okay there. All right, let's do it. Vault of Valenciana. Let's get into it. Uh, so yeah, we have a strong team coming. Betty O's here. Guerrero, Bissiger as well, so should be a good one. And we have a, a team time trial to get things underway. How exciting. Let's do it. I can see I've got a big shadow behind me. It's so frustrating. Um, but yeah, we'll go with it. We move. Um, but yeah, Morty, welcome to the stream. Taylor, Blackwall, my uh, podcast comrades. If you guys don't follow the Ascent Cycling Podcast, you can do. It's in the uh, About page. Apiers, Rad Sports, uh, your bunny. Finn, Mario, Mario. I was I was playing some uh, open lobbies with Mario yesterday, so you guys should definitely go and follow him on Twitch as well. Some great PCM streams and other other games as well. Um, I'm trying to catch all of you. Swaxon, welcome in. Mendel, um, Basque. I mean, so many guys. Thanks, thanks so much, everyone, for coming. Oh my words, Matiago, Matiago, far too kind. Far too kind. Big up Matiago in the chat right there. 500 bits straight like that. This guy is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Thank you very much, Matiago. Really appreciate that. I've got a tendency to look to the chat when I'm trying to, to speak, but I should look at the camera, right? It just feels a bit strange. Anyway, looking at the Ineos team here, we have Adam Yates, De Plus, Bernal, Carapaz, Carlos Rodriguez, who's a beast, as we saw in real life recently. Um, so they're gonna win the race. Matiago Goat, indeed, indeed. Um, anyway, we'll be getting underway very shortly here. All right, so I usually pause it just so I can put everyone to 99. Let's go like this. Yeah, thank you, Matiago. Far too kind of you, my man. 500 bits, just like that, to start, the start the stream. Unbelievable. Um, anyway, this is, oh, this is 37K. Okay, that's quite something. We do have Barter though, who is 78 TT on the day. Guerrero cannot TT. Um, just set this up quickly. All right, that should be good. Let's go. Let's get into it. So I'm looking forward to this race, to be fair. Um, I'm just trying to check my 
face cam's looking okay. I usually I usually check this before the streams and, and videos, but for some reason, um, I failed to do that today. No, neither. I'm not great at it either, Morty. So, essentially, when I do a team time trial, I'm looking Bissiger and Brata. Obviously, they're the strongest time trialists on the day in the team. And this is a quite a long time trial. And as they're not GC guys, I can probably put Bissiger to 25. Carreras, welcome in. Welcome, mates. Hope you're good. Welcome to the stream. Um, and yeah, Barca, you can see, is getting us off to a flyer. We're almost catching up Kamesa just up the roads, who have a really nice jersey, by the way. Big fan of that. I can never do TTs or team time trials at all. Always lose quite a lot of time. Yeah, we'll see what we do here. Um, I'm not really monitoring this very well at all, but let's just go with it. Hope it's all going well. <laughs> I mean, we're catching up with the team ahead, so it can't be going too badly, right? We'll see at the first split. All right, so it's been a few days without cycling in real life, which is a bit strange, I must say. I'm so used to seeing races now already, but we have some big ones coming up. UAE Tour, Portuguese party up in here. <laughs> Certainly is. Certainly is. I'm going to drop these guys to maybe, maybe 95. Should be okay. Um, but yeah, it's been a few days without cycling, hasn't it? Which is a bit strange. Um, I've been watching a bit of the Alpine skiing. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys are into that. World champs on at the moment. But anyway, let's see where we are at the first split. I mean, we're catching up with, the, with the, another team ahead. Surely we're going just too fast. Let's drop our guys to 95. Should be okay. So we're ahead of Ineos at the first splits. Yeah, exactly, Matiago. Dave Riding. We're all big Dave Riding fans here. <laughs> Arkea not being picked for Vuelta was unsurprising, but it was interesting to see if they throw their best eight riders at the tour. Yeah, very much, Taylor, because I think Quintana was planning to do the Giro this year, but I'm not sure he's going to be able to do that. Um, well, obviously he's not. So does that mean he goes to the tour? Because they didn't get the wild card. Um, I think I've spent... Oh my word, did you see that heart rate? I've never seen a heart rate, 197. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. It's it's very optimistic. We'll see if he can do it. <laughs> Dave Riding, the legend. For those who don't know, Dave Riding is a British skier, slalom skier, who obviously there's not many British skiers, so we root for him, we root for him. Um, okay, 5K to go. And we're still first at that first split, so off to a good start here. I think Vandenberg's going to go out the back. Guerrero potentially as well. Let's swap them over. We have 2k to go here. Has anyone been... I mean, this is going a bit well, isn't it? Yeah, still missing Bogan for the Portuguese party. Um, okay. Ooh, we're struggling now. Let's see across the line. Bissiger, 99. Can we beat Ineos? No, we cannot. 56 seconds down in the end. All right, we take that. We take that. Matiago, I can't wait for the Tour de, tour de Holtvar. Yeah, stats lineup. Yeah, yeah. We spoke about it yesterday on, on Mario's stream. Um, but the Ineos team, they have Garrett Thomas, Teo Gegenhart, Rowan Dennis, Pigcock's going, Sivakov. What a team. What a team that is. Okay, so Ineos take the stage. We get third place. We take that. It is indeed Blackadder. Welcome to the stream, Blackadder. This is the EF career. Uh, Nebido, welcome. Hello. How are you? Hope you're good. I'm so excited to see Woot's performance last year. Was it real? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. At the TDF. And I think Van Art's going to aim for the World Championships as well uh, this season. But anyway, third place. We take that. We take that for sure. It's a good start. But Ineos OP. Ineos OP. That's the thing. Galthor, yo, welcome. Hope you're good. Yeah, Mario, it's a, it's a Tour de France winning roster, right? With Geraint Thomas, Sivakov, Dennis, Gagan Hart. Unreal team. Parapentra for GC. Yeah, we'll see, Mattia. He's in good form, isn't he? Um, but yeah, that's a good start to our, to our stream. Yeah, Nebito, I'm very well, thank you. Hope you are too. Um, as always, guys, if there's any issues, just let me know because i um, not quite sure what I'm doing, to be honest, half the time. Um, I feel like my face comes looking a bit strange. 
All right, matters require our attention, do they? Oh, look at the man. There he is. <laughs> you guys know him. Marco Brenner. Uh, we'll scout him, shall we? We'll, we'll scout Marco Brenner. Oh, no, we can't do that. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's get on to the next stage. Rumi, how are you? Oh, look at this. Benji Narson just resubscribed four months. Welcome in, man. Hope you're good. Hope you're good, Benji. Good to see you back in these parts. Of course, a fellow YTCer and PCM legend. The Benji man is here, precisely. <laughs> Welcome, mate. Hope you're good. Hope you're having a good day. Um, all right, so stage two, hilly one. We have, oh, I didn't look at the start list. We clearly have a very good one here, though. Um, let's get it. Let's see what we can do. Benji, Benji, you shouldn't do it. You shouldn't do it. Far too kind of you, man. Five, five gift subs from Benji Narson. Big hype for that man. What a man he is. Thank you, mates. No, I appreciate that. Really do. Very kind of you. Very kind of you. So, Blackwall, Jonathan, Hagrid, Mario, Rasmus. Enjoy your subs on Benji. Thank you, mates. Really, really appreciate that. <laughs> In with the dab. Benji gifting Blackwall a sub, yeah. <laughs> Oh dear, no, really kind of you, really kind of you. X Basque is asking, Vanderpool above Wout van Aert. I'll go the other way around, to be honest, as a as an all-round rider. I think in, in the last stream we went like this, didn't we? Rumi, how are you? Matiago has just gifted a sub as well. Whew. Guys, guys, stop it, you're far too kind. Gotta run. Have a good day, Benji. <laughs> Thanks for dropping in like that. <laughs> and Matiago, mate, you're far too kind, far too kind. Thank you guys for the love. Thanks for the support. Galthil, enjoy your subscription on Matiago. Um, yeah, guys, speechless. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> Benji, another two gift subs. This is this is Santa Benji in full force. I'll tell you what, this is better than Santa. Gedder and Radsport, enjoy your subscriptions, guys. <laughs> Unbelievable, Benji, mate. Get back to work. <laughs> um, no, nah, the chat's still not going to work, is it, for some reason? Anyway, we're back in game. Here we go. You want that gold spot. <laughs> Rumi, oh, guys, look at this. It's a real battle here. <laughs> Matiago, two more gift subs. Stop it. <laughs> oh, Matiago's. So, Flynn, and we've got M42SK. Subscribes. It's unbelievable. What a battle this is. This is crazy. <laughs> what is it going to be? <laughs> Guys, stop. Stop now. Stop now. Benji, five more. Oh, God, I'm speechless. Is that... I don't think... Is there anyone left to gift a, gift a sub to? I don't know. Um, but yeah, guys. Far too kind. Far too kind. Stop it at once. Oh, boy. Wow. Quite, quite the start to the stream. Yeah. Yeah. Matiago, stop. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> so we've got Joe White, Lee Milan, Raphael, Yabani. Enjoy your subs on Benji, guys. And yeah, appreciate it, guys, but but, but please stop. <laughs> Speechless. Wow. Anyway. Anyway, stage two gets underway. This is a, a PCM stream, believe it or not. But we have Magnus Court plus three day. He's our sprinter, right? We're gonna have to go for him. See you, Benji. Thank you, mates. Thanks for, for dropping in like that. What a guy. Have a good day. Um, Galthor asks, Cav, Lawless or Sagan, who would win in a sprint? Are you talking now? Because the answer now is Peter Sagan. Um, that, that's not up for debate, right? But in their prime, I'll go for, for Mark Cavendish. Watch out also, Benji. Benji's got more to say. Make you a <laughs> Oh dear, well, I think, you're, I think you can boss me around after all those gift subs, right? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> but Morty's doing a great job, so yeah, shout out to Morty. 
Blackadder, who are, who are your leaders on this race? Yeah, good point, because I've just kind of jumped into this race and not really spoken about it. Um, but yeah, let's take a look. So the other teams, Fusan, Carapaz, I mean, it's a stacked start list. Should be a fun race. We have, it's an interesting one. I thought Guerrero could be our leader in the mountains, but we also have Alberto Betio, maybe. Um, so it's probably Betio or Guerrero or Will Barca, one of those three. And then we have sprinters in Court and Bisca. So quite a few options. Should be a good one. <laughs> um, I've realised I'm playing these songs on repeat, so I'll just shake it up a bit. We'll put on the old Harris Heller stream beats. As they are, they are legal to play, so we want to be legal around here, right? I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, here we go. We'll go for white again because that was quite good. Uh, Galthor, the kit I hate is the AG2R Citroen because they have brown shorts, yuck. <laughs> there it is. I mean, they've had it for a few years, right, the brown shorts. But yeah, not particularly nice. <laughs> I know some people do like it because it's different and it's a kind of a simple design. Um, but for me, it's, it's not my, my favourite. Morty, gifting two tier one subs. Total of six. Morty, thank you, mate. I mean, guys, the subs going on here is unbelievable. What's going on? It's a hype train. Oh my word, it's a hype train. Uh, Jonas, I will, I will, Jonas. And guys, for just joining, I will be putting these up on this channel here. So go sub that channel if you want to uh, catch up with the stream replays. Um, but yeah, Morty, thank you, man. Thank you. Far too kind of you. Yeah, Morty. Oh, dear. Thank you, mate. Really kind of you. And uh, it is now Nebido and SGA with the subscriptions. Welcome in, guys. Appreciate all the love shown, guys. Really do. Um, Swagson, wearing the AG2R kit is like wearing your rival football team kit. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be seen in that, right? Um, let's check the breakaway. We haven't actually done that. We've got Benjamin Toma, decent rider. Amos Quetta. Oh, we have Tim Wellens in the break. So we should probably up the tempo a bit. Thanks, you bunny. Hope you enjoy it there, mates. Um, Jonas, nice. I don't have the time and appreciate your personality a lot and in the game. Yeah, thanks, mate. You can you can catch the replays there. No worries if you can't catch all the all the streams. Mario, hundred bits. Let's get in the hype train. Yeah, thanks, thanks, mate. I put my school in Portugal watching you, Jonas. You put your school in Portugal watching watching me. Does that mean you told your friends, right? I, I'm gonna assume it wasn't in like an assembly or something. But yeah, thank you, thank you, mate. <laughs> That's really kind of you. <laughs> now nah, I'd rather graft the H2R kit to my skin than wear. A, do you mean PSG? PSH? PSH? Um, I guess you mean PSG, right? Yeah, H is next to a G on a keyboard. Galthor, favorite twenty? Yeah, PSG. Okay. Oh, we've got full. Galthor, favourite 2021 kit for me is Israel. I like it, to be fair. Jonas, your class. Well, thanks, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> I mean, that's a bit kind of... Oh, I'm not sure about the song. But yeah, that's that's a bit, bit mind-blowing. Portugal loves you. <laughs> Morty, 200 bits. Boy, oh boy. Guys, the start of this stream has been unreal. I'm, I'm speechless, I really am. I'm going to turn my mic down just a little bit. Um, but yeah, I can't, I can't focus on this on this race. <laughs> Thanks, Morty. Cheers, man. Do you think Froomey can win the Tour de France with the Israel Startup Nation this year? I'd love to say yes. I'll, I'll, we'll wait, we'll see. The UAE Tour starts this weekend, right? So, uh, and he'll, he'll be there for the first time this season. So, uh, we'll see what level he's at. And then, yeah, we can we can go from there, I guess. We can dream, exactly, Matiago. We can dream. Hopefully, Carl Frederick Hagen will carry through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He had a bad year as well last year, though. Did uh, Hagen. Um, Bogan, welcome in, my man. Welcome. Hope you're good today. Uh, we've had a pretty crazy start to the stream, it must be said. I'm a bit lost for words. Um, yeah, you've arrived. 
Uh, but yeah, we're in stage two of the Volta Valenciana for you guys just joining. We've had a team time trial where Ineos won and we're currently looking to win stage two with hopefully Magnus Court Nielsen. Um, Jonas, for you, what are the top contenders for each Grand Tour? Oh, that's a good question. Wow. Uh, we've discussed this on the Ascent Cycling podcast a little bit, but I will. I think I went for Bookman for the Giro, which is a bit of an underdog, um, I would say. Probably Bernal is the favourite, right? Um, Tour de France, I'll say Roglic. Vuelta, it's too early to say, right? Maybe Joao Almeida. I'll go for an outsider pick. They're my, they're my little picks for now. Bookman, Roglic, Joao Almeida. We'll go, we'll go for that. That will change there every day. <laughs> Hi, Jakob. Welcome, mates. Hope you're good. Who, who are you picking, Jonas, for the, and, and everyone else? Who do you think will win the Grand Tours this year, if you had to say? Yeah, Portugal hype in the chat. Um, yeah, exactly, Bogan. Level 4 hype train. I, pff, I'm speechless. Really am. Don't know how that happens. Benji joins. Matiago joins. Morty joins. Mario joins. I mean... Far too kind of all those guys. I, I hope I haven't missed anyone. Jonas, in your opinion, Bernal will flop. Oh, really? I mean, he looked good at the last race, I thought. Um, I think he could have won that stage instead of Sosa quite easily. Blackadder, I'd love to see Roglic win the tour at some point. He really deserves it. Yeah, I think you're right. Level three complete. I mean, here we are, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Level 3 hype train. I, I I don't actually know what one of those is. I, I know it's <laughs> I know it's what happens when everyone gifts you loads of stuff. Um, but yeah, I think we've got some emotes. Is that right? Awesome. There you go. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thanks again. Bernal. Galthor's going Bernal, Gio, Pogacar and, and Yates. Okay, so you're going Bernal for the Giro. Thomas or Pogacar for the tour and Yates for the Vuelta. Okay, Yates is an interesting pick. Bernal was go to Provence. Yeah, Finn. Bernal was good, but I think Sosa was. Let's be real. But there were loads of good young riders at uh, Tour de la Provence, I thought. Uh, Jorgensen. There was uh, Carlos Rodriguez, who's here, I think, in, in this stage, in this race. Uh, let's go times four. <laughs> there it is, Mario. The Lara, Lara emotes. Yeah, Galthor. Adam Yates is doing the Vuelta for, for Ineos, I believe. So, Bogan. Um, just making sure I haven't missed anything. Yeah, Bogan. Have you seen the UE Tour provisional start list? Um, I have seen most of it. I haven't seen all the teams. Um, but I've seen a few teams that were, were uh, released today. Um, and kind of a few teams that are kind of displaying that early. I think Sosa wasn't on the start list, right? I saw the Ineos team. I think Sosa was missing. Um, but yeah, it should be a really good race for sure. Okay, so we're seeing some splits now. Let's, let's uh, force the tempo now. So, race situation because... Look at this. This is this is, this is is what the players do on PTM. Team attack. We have Yates, Duplass and Dennis. <laughs> Up the roads, we have seven riders still with Tim Wellens. We need to um, try and avoid those barriers. Um, but yeah, let's try and catch those guys. Still two minutes. I, I'm, I'm, I can't lie. I'm struggling to pay attention to this, uh, to this stage. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll go with it. So let's put on the white album. That's better. Okay. I think Bernal was better. He looks relaxed when he comes to finish, but he can't attack because so yeah, Finn, precisely. He I think he could have maybe won it if he needed to, but obviously Sosa was there, so he didn't need to, right? I think I think the same as you. Um Alright, we're having a very quick tempo here. Who's out the back? Let's see. So they that, those guys who fell, Toons and Isagire out the back. Yeah, Taylor, it's a bit of a funny one, right? With all these barriers. <laughs> Um, wow, that attack reminds me of, uh, yeah, yeah, no, exactly, Matiago. It's, a, it's what the online players do right sometimes, but, um, yeah. Bogan, no say to Adam Yates, Adam Yates and Ganner are on it. Okay, because Adam Yates won it last year, right? Ganner's interesting because there's a time trial, of course, individual time trial this year. 
Uh, so yeah, that's a win for him. <laughs> Yui was won by a sprinter in its first year. Yeah, so strange, right? The Abu Dhabi Tour, exactly, Galthor. That's that's what it was called. Um, now it's, of course, not named that. So we still have a minute up to the breakaway. Okay, let's try and... I think... Oh, sorry for pausing. I think these guys may win the stage, actually. Um, we'll relay with Barca and Guerrero. Um, but yeah, they still have over a minute. We need to put the hammer down now. Pog is at the UAE Tour. Yeah, Morty, I think he's the big favourite because obviously he's riding for the home team and they're going to want the win. Um, so I'm pretty... I think it... I think Pogaccio will win, basically. <laughs> um, I know he didn't last year, but I think he could win this year. Let's go like this then. Let's create a little train. Um, Biscuit can try and get on. And we're now seeing a lot of gaps form. Look at this. 50 seconds, though, to the break. I think they've won it, guys. Strange stage here. Um, and yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm struggling to pay attention. We've got massive fall as well. Sagan goes down, I think. No, he didn't. He's attacking. All right. Read that wrong. Uh, but yeah, stage is gone here. Let's try and get some gaps, though, on some guys. Um, 3k to go. Let's try and concentrate for a little moment as these guys are going to take the barriers together. 2k to go. He's going to take it. Wellens, right? Oh, my word. Look at this stage. <laughs> but we have Wellens, Schultz, Rudy Millard. It's a strong break. You can see why they've won here. And I think Millard's Nick Schultz. Tim Wellens. Tim Wellens will take the, take the win today. Um, let's sprint with our guys. And yeah, I mean, we messed up. Wasn't concentrating and that's what happens, I guess. Um, yeah, sorry guys. I'm just trying to concentrate for the end of that stage. Let's just... Okay, we do have some riders out the back. Some pretty good riders. I see McNulty there too. So let's check it at the end. Um, yeah, what a, what a strange stage. <laughs> Questionable indeed, Taylor. Matiago, this reminds me of your attack at the last stage of the... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Blackadder, didn't you win the online TDF on PCM last year? If you're talking about the e Tour de France, indeed I did. And I'm glad you mentioned that because there it is. That's the winning jersey right there, guys. <laughs> That's the ETDF e winning jersey, um, which they sent me, which is nice. So yeah, that was good. That was on stream. Chat, what's your favourite and worst kit in the 2021 Peloton? Yeah, we'll check them out in a sec. Galthor, I, I'm trying to do it two to three or four times a week at the moment. We'll see. Um, I'm trying to set up the schedule right now. I'm just trying to get back into it first. Uh, but yeah, it should be multiple times per week. Set Kuss is Jumbo GC leader. Yeah, that's really fine, Mandel, at the UAE Tour. Um, Morty, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there will be an ETDF. Um, we'll see. I, I haven't heard if there will be. Um, but anyway, let's take a look at the results here because Tim Wellens, let's cut to this one. Tim Wellens takes the stage um, and that could be a GC defining stage as well. That's a massive stage, really fun one. Couldn't quite keep up with everything that was going on. Uh, but yeah, that was a good one. Let's get to the next one. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if there will be an ETDF. We'll see, we'll see. I think there'll be World Championships, which I streamed as well a little bit. Um, We'll see. We'll see. I'll let you know when I know more. I don't know if anyone else in chat knows more. <laughs> Morty. I'm glad to hear it, mate. Uh, we'll try and get two jerseys up on the wall. <laughs> um, okay. All right. So I think the next one is a sprint stage. Yes, it is. Um, you and Sack and Christoph here. I think we're going for our boy Bissiger. Let's get into it. But yeah, again, thanks for coming, guys. Massively appreciate it. I'm annoyed. There's meant to be a chat. You see where that black box is on the left? Just won't work. Um, I'm going to have to get a, an expert in to help me out there. <laughs> see if I can try and change it now quickly. Um, but I highly doubt I'll be successful. Okay, yeah, I don't know. Don't know what I'm doing. Um, here we are. We're back in. If there is Tim's the goat, oh, <laughs> we'll see, Matiago. We'll see. I mean, I was quite lucky in a lot of senses last year. No unlucky moments, so um, it's got to go your way, right? 
here. We're just really on the front with Beppu, who's announced his retirement in the first dream. Beppu at the end of the season. Big shame there. Okay, let's just, uh, we should fly through this stage, I believe. Uh, yes, Jonas, the ETDF is on PCM. And I'm trying to think if you can watch it now. Um, I'm not sure if it's available to see now. I can't remember if I did any highlights on my YouTube channel. Um, I did some. Oh, should it, Swagson? Yeah, World Cup. Yeah, I, rem I think Joe Whiteley mentioned it to me. Uh, but yeah, should be good. I may be entering again. We'll see. Uh, does anyone remember what was special about Stage 8 of the Giro last year? Galthor. Um, I'll think about it. I, I can't remember. Yabani. Yeah, be right back. O awesome, mate. See you shortly. Um, see you very shortly. Um, but yeah, Galthor. Stage 8. Which one was that? Was that a sprint stage? I can't remember. It wasn't the one Sagan one. I think that was stage 10 or 11, right? But that was a great stage. 12, maybe. Oh, yes. I think you're right, Bogan. I think you're right. I think you've nailed it. The breakaway win of uh, Alex Dowsett. Blackadder. I watched the ETDF on Steeros' stream. It was very exciting. Awesome. Well, yeah. I am... Um... It, it was good. It was good. I think I streamed it as well. A few of us did, but Steeros obviously was the main kind of streamer, commentator. So, um, yeah. Glad you enjoyed it. Hopefully we can do it again this year. Um, I think everything look, is looking okay. So, breakaway. Roger Adria is a rider. I think he's doing well in real life at the moment. Kalmajan. Kalmajan had a bad crash, I think, in the Tour de la Provence. So a smaller breakaway today. Hopefully should be safe for the stage. You like that, did you, Taylor? Because a lot of people kind of thought it was bad that the English and French kind of went against each other a little bit. But um, yeah, I think it's a bit of healthy competition. Can't go wrong, right? Um, so yeah, let's get to the end of this stage. Should, should just be a pretty basic mass sprint, I believe, barring any um, strange moments. Mm. Exactly, Galthor. It was Israel's first uh, World Tour win, first Grand Tour stage win. And Al Alex Dowsett, the man to get it. I'm really intrigued to see what they can do this year, to be fair. Should be a, a fun team for sure. Mike Woods, Dan Martin in the Ardennes, obviously Froome as well. Yeah, Bogan, your knowledge is top draw, my man, clearly. Yeah, Blackadder, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I kind of felt the same in some ways. Um, like a bit of friendly competition's not, nothing wrong with that, but it did get a bit out, out of hand, I think. Yeah, he does, Morty. He does, uh, Mike Woods. I, I'm really hoping he, he can win a big race this year, Mike, Mike Woods. And he kind of looks up to Dan Martin. I, I know they're good mates, so it should be, see, should be interesting to see how they work together, for sure. DSM kit looks similar to Team Sky's. Yeah, Galthor, exactly. It really does. I mean, I'm not a fan of it. I'll be honest with you. The DSM jersey, it's a bit... I think they could have done a bit more with it. Matiago, I'm thinking about doing a PCM 2021 career with Israel. Really fun team. Yeah, and fear is as well. Yeah, I thought about it as well. <laughs> um, I almost had them in the in the poll. But in the end, I went for... Was it FDJ, Astana and EF? But yeah, EF, EF are a really fun team. Really fun team, I can tell already. So we have one minute to them. That should be closed now. Jonas, PCM will never leak for Mac. I'm not sure. I'm not sure it will, to be honest with you. We'll see. Red Sunweb was so lit, X Basket saying, yeah, I did like that jersey. And I think I quite like the giant, giant Shimano jersey as well. I remember Kittle and Demulan. In that jersey. That was a nice one, in my opinion. Come on, Beppu. Get this gap shot, my man. 20k to go. Breakaway have just under a minute. Let's try and take this in a sprint, shall we? All right, let's prepare our sprints. So, we have Vandenberg. I think Court's going to sprint for us today, isn't he? Um, that's fine. Oh, Betty Ol. Betty Ol was quick, you know. Didn't actually realise he was that quick. Okay, that should be fine. We'll keep these guys sat in. Let's go. Let's try and win the stage. Are there any are there any rumours on the media on media about EF transfers to 2022? Yeah, not sure, Bogan. 
<laughs> Not sure. Who do you think they could bring in? Do it for Freemium and bring his fifth yellow. Yeah. I mean, Matiarko, you can always use the editor to put it to uh, 82, which is what it should be, right? Freemium's mountain stat. <laughs> real shame. Shame to see him in, in that way, in the DB, <laughs> as well as real life. Last year's Bahrain kit looked, looked good. Galthor, I really like that kit this year, to be fair. The Bahrain jersey. I really like that one. Um, but anyway, we have 5k to go. Guerrero, Injiro was a monster. Yeah, he really was. He won the stage, of course, beating uh, Castro. That was a really good one for him. Uh, but here we are, Betio. We're going way too quickly here. You are the boss of the team. <laughs> yeah, but who do you recommend, Bogan? Who do you recommend to be signed? Or EF in real life as well. All right, 2k to go. Let's try and open it up now. It's downhill finish. Let's go early. Bisaga. Bisca, what, what are you doing? So far off the wheel. Let's try and go early with court. We're not going to take the win, I don't think. We're getting close, but it will be... Yeah, downhill finish screwed us over. All right, I didn't take it into account. Sick place. Not the best. Not the best at all. Um, Matiago. Yeah, Finn. We'll see if it gets better. Hopefully, he performs well at the UE Tour, and then it will get better, won't it? His uh, mountain stat. Do you Swagson? You prefer Bahrain's last year? It's a bit similar to Arkea Samsic, I realised, the uh, the Bahrain jersey this year. Yeah, that, that was a terrible finish. That was horrible. What a, what a terrible sprint by me. I think we have a very fun stage coming up next, though, which will be the penultimate stage, queen stage of the race. Bahrain's kit had better, better years. Yeah. Fair play. I like it this year. I really do. I think, think it's a bit cleaner, but it is similar to a few other jerseys, I would say. Uh, so Logan Owen is not feeling well. He should be all right though. Neither is Hugh Carthy. Okay. Okay. Morty, you have to leave now, but hope to catch the next stream fully. No worries, man. Have a good day. Thanks for dropping in. And thanks for the uh, the uh, subs, the bits as well. Uh, thanks for the, the love in general. Cheers, mate. Have a good day. Yeah, Bogan. Let me know, let me know who you think we could sign, guys. I'm looking for a few Japanese riders. I'm not sure if there are any good ones in the DB. Um, because obviously the Nippo sponsorship would be nice. Um, anyway, we have the Queen stage here today. Plenty of fun climbs. But now Fusang, Lanza, Pino. Look, look at the favourites there. That's that's a Grand Tour level start list. Here in the Vault of Valenciana. Let's see if we can win it. <laughs> I doubt it. Yeah, Finn, I know what you mean. It, it'll go down, won't it, if you start, because he's a bit older, is Froome. ex Basque likes the B&B Hotels jersey. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Definitely is. This stage is always fun. You like it, Matiago? Yeah, I mean, we're in already. I've got the graphics a bit lower, I think. Maybe we can turn it up, but um, no, it seem, doesn't seem like an issue. All right, so we get Betty Old plus three. We get Guerrero plus minus one. He's been on terrible form. Yeah, so I think Betty Old's our leader. It's too steep for him. Anyway, we'll see what Betty Old can do here. We'll see what he can do. We'll try and get someone in the break, shall we? Um, we'll try and get caught in the break. Why not? These guys all trying to attack. Let's try and get a few riders in the break. Here we are, caught attacking up the roads. We have an early breakaway forming. And there you go, into that group. Look at that sprint from court. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. Let's try and get Vandenberg in the break as well. Maybe it's too fast. Um, okay, Flynn, welcome in, man. Hope you're good. Uh, I'll tell you what you've missed. If you're just joining like Flynn, we've had three stages so far. Volta Valenciana, um, and we've had a team time trial won by Ineos. We've had... Um, an interesting one where Tim Wellen Wellens won from the early breakaway. And then we've had a sprint stage, so we you haven't missed any good results so far. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get one today, but not looking great with Betty Old's form. Uh, but yeah, win the vault of Valenciano. Hope you're having a great day. Um, you've also missed some crazy hype train to start the stream, which was uh, pretty crazy. 
<laughs> Mario loves the uh, loves the AG2R jersey. Yeah, Matiago as well. Um, Aribe, Bogan, is that a suggestion for a rider to sign? Yeah, we'll, we'll take a look after this race, shall we? At potential riders to sign. Yeah, I can't get in the break anymore. It's a shame. Um, you should be able to check it in your... Yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, Matiago. Surely caught. If he goes up the roads, he won't, he won't be caught this stage, right? Surely Magnus can't be caught here. Sorry, I didn't think that was working. Okay, we're having lots of attacks here. <laughs> the amount of Magnus Quartz puns in this save is going to be so painful. It really is for all of us. So I apologise in advance. <laughs> it really is Bogan. Let's see. Uh, oh, it's a really strong break. Look at this. Mark Soler. It's against Izagiri, Brambia, Mark Donovan, Cosnefra. Nick Schultz. What's going on? We got Vincenzo Nibali in the break. Cosnefra, Van Wilder. Look at this break. I mean, it's going to be caught as well. It's going to be Magnus Quartz. Magnus is going to be caught in the breakaway. Mark Soler pressing on. Is it going to be caught? Bora don't like it. I don't think they've got any riders there. I'm trying to save some energy, but <laughs> very difficult. Should be fine. Uh, let's see if these guys can hold this lead. Magnus may be caught shortly because he's really struggling now. Um, yeah, so many puns. <laughs> let's just try and stay here, Magnus. Hopefully when these guys get caught, they should sit up. And that should be uh, the breakaway forms. Because he is done now, Magnus, pretty much. It's Van Wilder done as well. This is this group. Unreal. Um, I have the caught. I've caught the PCM bug. Yeah. <laughs> If you're here, you've caught the PCM bug, right? <laughs> oh, we're getting pushed right out the back. What about Connor Swift? For a signing, Galthor? For for us to sign this off-season? Yeah, I really like Connor Swift. That'd be a nice move, I think. I think it's a very good su suggestion. Thank you for that. Uh, maybe we could... Yeah, we'll take a quick look after the race, maybe. <laughs> Van, this Ivan Ilan Van Wilder pace is too hot, and he's now going to be Magnus Court. Painful, painful. <laughs> ah dear. Yeah, Betty was our leader. This stage could take a little while because it's such a hard tempo right now. So I'm not doing any work in the break, as you see, and it's currently Lotto on the fronts. So looking at the GC, let's take a quick look because we, have, we haven't really seen it. I guess because Lotto Sudao's time trial was so bad, Wellens is still well well behind, which is uh, why he's not in the leader's jersey right now. Okay, look at this. They could well be Magnus Court right here with Rob Hessink on the front. Beppu's done. This, this is crazy. Try and get to the front here. This, this, what is going on? Um, oh, we still have Carr with the English nationality. Yeah, Bogan. I think he is actually English in real life. I believe Simon Carr. I think, obviously, he said he was French. And then, then I think he kind of changed his mind. <laughs> um, or I think he's. I think he may be British. May be wrong there. But yeah, we still have Carr English. I can change it to French if we need to. If we need to. Um, but yeah, we have Simon Carr. What about to sign Set Kuss, Jonas? What a signing that would be. That's a great suggestion, as we have Marco Brenner, T-Mobile legend. You guys can check it out on the old YouTube channel um, if you don't watch T-Mobile Bianchi. We're done now with Magnus Court. We're completely done. Let's try and work with these guys. Schultz and Jonas Aguirre. So it's Soler, Cosnefra and Nibali. No wonder we can't keep up with them. Unreal. We have 86 now in the main group. This stage is crazy. We've had so many crazy stages in these kind of early season races. Sagan is gone. Uh, but yeah, Sepp Kuss, let, let's see if his contract runs out. Um, I don't think I can check from here. We'll see after the race. 
He's a great suggestion. Obviously, American as well. Um, Connor Swift. Yeah, Ben Swift, right? His cousin, Ben Swift, is the one who rides for, uh, for Ineos. I actually forgot they were cousins. But yeah. Both the Swift riders are very good. <laughs> Betiol's looking quite good, to be fair, because he's got such a good flat rating. No, it's stupid. What am I doing? Why am I trying to attack away with Magnus Court? That's only going to lead to him being caught by the Peloton. <laughs> All right, 86 riders here. Let's push on a bit. Uh, Bogan. Yeah, I'm not sure. You'll have to check for me. He's British, right, Galthor? Yeah, we'll see, uh, Flynn. We'll see. We'll see. Don't count out Alberto yet, my friend. I'm feeling confident in, in Betiel. Alright, we've caught these guys. But yeah, this is this is a great a great stage for sure. I've never actually played this uh, variant before. Antoine Tolhoik, I can't say his name, which is a, a reason not to sign him. But yeah, maybe, maybe. Another good Jumbo Visma talent. Let's try and get some H2O, shall we? I'll get some as well. Um, you'll see after the race while you show the jerseys. Yeah, Mario, that, that may not happen. That may or may not happen. Let's be real here. <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> All right, we're looking in a pretty good situation as Vincenzo Nibli is going to attack. Court is nothing. He can just relay at 60. I mean, yeah, I'm Flynn, you say it's not an ideal team for this race. It's not ideal for this stage for sure. We did well on the team time trial, but when you look at the Ineos team, they have Yates, Carapaz, but now... Rodriguez, who I upped a bit in the DB, I think. Dennis, De Plus. Of course we're not going to be competing, right? <laughs> it's unreal. Um, all right, court's been, court's been caught. Magnus has been caught. Failed that. Um, but Betio looks fine. He looks, he looks really fine. I'm happy with how he looks. Stefan Biska. This, this tempo is crazy. Capo Del Vento, thanks for the follow. Thank you, appreciate that. If there's anyone else lurking, make sure you hit that follow button, guys, if you're enjoying. Um, okay, so I'm just trying really hard to manage this, so sorry if I'm not reading chat <laughs> straight away. Uh, God Nolte, yeah, what a rider, Bogan. That Remco, yeah, Galthor, that Remco, Blake, I think, I, I think that he should have a contract set until... Um, like 2023 Remco, so I don't think he's available actually. What is going on? Oh, we're dropped, we're dropped, we're dropped. 4K to go. Let's go like this, we're, we're back on. Oh my word, look at this. Carapaz launches, 89K to go in this stage. Richard Carapaz has been launched by Ineos. This is, this is great. I mean, when PCM throws in a stage like this with Kuss, Kreuzvik, Haig drops, and Carapaz is attacking with 80k to go. You've got to love it, right? Um, and it's going to be Dylan Toons to up the tempo. Let's try and just stay here now. 2k. Come on, get out of our way, please. Um, Toll Hook. It's Toll Hook, is it, Fear? Okay, thanks for that. Appreciate that. So, Wellens is gone. All right, we can slow down. We can slow down. But look at this. Carapaz has gone two minutes up the road right now. We're looking good. We're looking fine. Um, Matiago, sorry, I've missed that. I'm trying to catch up with the chat. Sam Carr's British, yeah, I thought so. Martin, yeah, welcome. We've got quite a few Portuguese here. Uh, so welcome in, guys. Hope you're good. And indeed, Guerrero is going to try and do a good job for you today. Pino is dropped. Nibali is dropped. King Martin, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. But look at this, guys. Like, what is going on at this race? This is a great race. And like I said, Betio actually looks okay. I mean, I've just looked at the bottom. You said it was a suicidal attack, Carreras. Look at this, right? Look at this gap. He is gone. He is gone, gone. Carapaz is three minutes up the rose. This is great. This is really great. 
Valverde and Ciccone are now gone. I need to stay focused here. We've got 30 km an hour wins. See, I thought about skipping this race, but the thing is, some of these early season races are just so fun, just because they're so random and crazy. I mean, this group looked done. What's a stage? And we're going to rely on Bahrain with Toons, Pernsteiner and Landa. For sure. Um, yeah, Carreras, welcome. He is here. He is here. You guys should check out Carreras on YouTube if you don't. Some good uh, PCM content. Um, let's see. Let's see. Yes, Portuguese is very strong. Strong in numbers. Thanks for coming, guys. My Portuguese pals. Portuguese pals. Hmm. <laughs> Flynn, a tactical masterclass by Ineos. It really is at the moment. 3 minutes 45 for Carapaz. And the great thing is here is that if you take a look at the... Let's up this a little bit. Um, if you take a look at the GC, Adam Yates is actually in the lead. I know Carapaz is the same time, but, you know, they're attacking with a rider who isn't their, their current GC leader, which is just great. I, I, I can't remember seeing this on PCM before. This save is throwing up all sorts of great, great stages. Which is obviously brilliant. Big full behinds. Vandenberg involved. Carapaz might do a free me. Indeed, Matiago. Indeed, he might. I, I can't really work. I can't really work. Do I want to? I, I can, but do I want to? I will, I will a bit. We'll go like that. So... Guerrero is going to give himself up today. Betio was on a great day. He could top five this stage. Maybe a podium overall would be a good result. Carapaz thinks he's Remco. Bogan, apparently he does. There he is. Carapaz. Look at that lead. This is great. No, stop. What, what are you doing? Toons is getting a bit overexcited here. But we have Chicone, Conrad, Bookman, Fulsang, Yates, Bernal. What a stage. Uh, last night, I, is the AI getting better? Yeah, Mario, it seems so. It seems so. I, I mean, this stage is going absolutely brilliantly. What a stage this is so far. From the, uh, from the AI, basically. Um, yeah, really great. Fred Wright from Bahrain. Galthor, he's a great, great suggestion. Fred Wright is really talented, I believe. Really talented rider. If I were you, I'd let Guerrero sit sit in the tents and pace a little on the climbs and flats. Seems like Bahrain having the tent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean, Flynn. That's what I'm trying to do, trying to recover. Let's try and push him a little bit now. Let's go to 80 with Ruben Guerrero. Guer Guerrero. I know I can't say that, so um, if you Portuguese guys can help me out, please do. Yabani, welcome back in. Hope you're good. Hope you're good. And we have a crazy situation for Yabani and anyone else just joining. Carapaz has attacked 3k up the road. I think it was with 90 or 89k to go he attacked. Um, and now we're in this group of 17 riders trying to chase him in, which is a crazy situation. But a very fun one indeed. So uh, we'll see how this plays out. Um, we're trying to work with Ruben Guerrero. Um, but we'll sit up now in the descent. Yeah, Bogan. I can't make that R sound. The rolling R. Can't say it. Guerrero. Guerrero. Guerrero? Mario? Guerrero? Guerrero. <laughs> I've missed these pronunciation lessons with you guys because you guys know I cannot do it. So just under three minutes is Carapaz's gap. And looking at the, looking at the groups behind, we have Pino in this group. Oh, and we catch that at the right time because Simitier just falls. <laughs> Uh, but Rowan Dennis, like the, the groups are so strong. Get some H2O. Guerrero, Guerrero. I'll try it. I'll try it. Uh, but it won't be perfect, I'm afraid. So yeah, these guys, you're right, Flynn. These guys seem to just kind of pace really hard, then stop. So I'm just going to try and rest up a little bit for now. If that group behind come back on, it will probably help us. So I don't mind that happening. Yeah, Matiago, it certainly has been crazy. We've been treated. We've been treated in this save so far. Some really crazy stages and races that I didn't expect. So um, cannot complain at all. I'm trying to speed it up a little bit because I appreciate we don't want to be all, all day at the Volta Valenciana. 
even though it's been a very good one. <laughs> As Bahrain seem to now be struggling, Pern, Steiner and Toons working for Landa. 2 minutes 30 is Carapaz's leads. You've got to love it. I really love this, this move by uh, the AI. Get out of the way, comrades. We'll try and push it a little bit there with uh, Guerrero. And there, there you go. Okay, as you see, I didn't realise the groups have rejoined. So let's see if someone else will take this up now. And they will because Sepp Kuss is back in. Kreuzvik is back in. I think they're working for George Bennett, you know. Let's just check quickly because Kuss seems to be not doing too well today. Or maybe Kreuzvik, I don't know. One of the two. Um... Carreras, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> me and me and Guillaume or Blackwall, we we've discussed this on the podcast, and he has abused me abused me for my lack of um, ability to make the ah uh, sounds in foreign languages. Um, so yeah, you'll have to bear with me, I'm afraid, guys, on that. Um, also, this stage is mad. Yeah, it is Blackwall. This is why I always do Valenciana. I I. Was, I said at the end of the last stream, I think we'll skip it because it's Valenciana, but definitely not. Really fun race. Really fun race. Um, yeah, Carreras, that's what they do. That's what they do. They always seem to just over push it, don't they? But a few guys are now gone. They clear, clearly did over push it again. Okay, and here we go now. Look at this. Since this group have been caught, it's now 1 minute 11 for Carapaz. He's really lit up this stage, which is great to see. But um, I think he's now done. Or soon to be done. Let's try and stay here. It's not ideal. Because we are now coming into the time of the stage. Let's go like this now. Guys, finishing predictions for Betiol. What do you reckon? I think I've managed his effort okay. Like I could have done it a bit better. And we're now getting drops. But I think we can get a top five. Uh, maybe a bit bold. I'm going to try. I'm going to say a top five. As Carapaz is pretty much now caught. Kreuzvik is going to do it. Top ten. You're going six. I'm being a bit ambitious. Maybe top five. But we'll see. We'll see. 71 mountain. 74 on the day. I'll, be, I'll, I'll take a top five or a top ten. Top three. You're going. Wow. Top three. We're going Matiago, Carrera, Aspergen. You're going top threes. We'll see. We have 21 here. Is Giri now done? This, this has been a great stage, nonetheless, wherever, wherever we finish. Try and save a bit. Okay, so final 9k. We have a little descent, and then it is the final climb for the day. Let's see where we do. <laughs> Flynn's going to be unique and say fourth. We'll see, we'll see, guys. I think Bernal is going to take it, or, uh, or Yates is my shout. One of the Ineos guys. Right, here we go. 7k to go. Look how steep this is. Let's try and find some room. Move up a bit in the group. So Ruben's done. Look at that. Bernal, Bennett, Lanza. I will not be following that, that's for sure. Full Sang is going to follow. Brave, ba brave riders after the stage we've had today. And Yates is going to sit in. This is uh, Ineos Masterclass, by the way. And George Bennett Masterclass as well. Look at that. So, straight away, Harada, Guerrero is done. Um, we'll drop this to 67. Even 65. But look at this, George Bennett. You love to see it, but now Fulsang and Lanza are done. Fulsang and Lanza are done already. We're leading this group right now. We'll sit up. 4K to go. Ooh, this is an interesting one. Guerrero's done a mega job. He really has. Ruben, you're the MVP of the day, my man. We'll give him a little rest because of that. Okay, 4k to go. We're looking okay. I'm going to push this. In fact, you know what? Let's have a bit of fun. Betio is going to try a little kick away. Here we go. I mean, we didn't quite get a gap, but <laughs> 3k still to go. Betio is really putting the hammer down. Yates is done in the... PCM. I don't like you. Big block. But at the front, two minutes for Bernal and George Bennett. Quite like to attack away, and we're going to now. Alberto Betio attacks away from that group. 2k to go. And could that be third place secured? Let's see. Um, Yates is done. We have a group of 10. Carapaz, poor man, is done. Look at Alberto here. Yeah, Carreras. That, that block, horrible. Alberto. Alberto. MVP of the day. But now he's going to win the race. 
And I think we can secure a top three in the GC as well due to our good podium, our good time trial, sorry. We're not going to catch Bennett. If we caught Bennett, we'll get seconds. But what a performance here today. I'm taking that. But now takes it. Bennett will be second. I'll take that, guys. I'll take that. Third place. You guys, who predicted that. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> that's, all you, that's all I can give you, I'm afraid. But Chicone fourth. What a stage. That was a class stage. That was a really good stage. Um, and kudos to Ineos Grenadiers for lighting that up. The virtual Ineos Grenadiers, at least. Cheers, guys. That was a good one. That was a really good stage. Competitivity award goes to Guerrero. Yeah, what a job he did. Um, I think something we can add to the streams is kind of actual predictions um, that you kind of do in Twitch. I think for channel points. I'll, lo I'll look into that. I'll look into that. But yeah, cheers guys, that was a great stage. Hope you enjoyed it, because I really did. That was a great stage. That was a really good stage. Um, and I think we just have a sprint stage to finish the race. Um, yeah, Mario, I saw a few other streamers do it, so it's not a very unique idea, but um, yeah. Look at Betty all there. That attack was great. Yeah, I feel bad for Carapaz, I do as well, Bogan. And we do go into thirds in the GC of the Volta Valenciana. And look at the names we're among right there. Egan's going to take the, take the win though. That was great. That was really great. I love that. Alright, so let's take a look at the final stage. Um, and hopefully it's at least half as, as fun as that stage. Uh, Mario, uh, I'll leave that to you, my man. I'll leave that to you because... Ah, you, you guys don't want to don't want to hear that. <laughs> Matiago, you have a one to one music lesson. <laughs> yeah, no worries, mate. Um, thanks for dropping by. Hope you enjoyed that stage. And yeah, maybe see you. I think we'll be streaming for maybe um, three hours total ish, maybe until about five GMT, four or five GMT. We'll see. Um, so yeah, hopefully catch you then. All right, so we have the final stage of the race. Flat one into Valencia. Um, yeah, I'm so annoyed. If anyone can help me with this chat, if anyone knows how to use stream elements, feel free to help me with this chat because you should be able to see your, your chat on the right-hand side. Apparently, though, that, that is not the case today. Who knows? Um, but yeah, that was a great stage. I can't get over that stage. Really, really fun one. Really fun one. Um, and we have a, a sprint stage, 120k today. I think Caleb Buen's the favourite. Cheers, Blackwall, mate. I, I will do. I will do exactly that. I will do exactly that. Anyway, today we do have Bisca as our leader, and he is going to win this stage. I can feel it. Team Mobile Bianchi Legend, Stefan Bisca. We'll just relay on the front. Um, yeah, this should be fine. I'll hit you up, Blackwall. I will indeed do that. Okay, so we're going to have a big break. Let's let's go times eight. This should be, a, again, fairly basic sprint stage. I, I still can't get over that previous stage. What a stage. Let's take a look at the GC again. So Carapaz, brave old Carapaz, actually holds on for fourth place. What a performance by Betio. George Bennett as well, really, really strong. All right, so I think we have the New Zealand Championships after this, and you guys know it's the legends. That is Tom Scully, who will be uh, competing for us there after his sprint win at the Santos Tour Down Under, where he beat Caleb Ewan. He beat Ackerman, Sagan, I think pretty much every sprinter <laughs> somehow. So... He can win the New Zealand Championship, right? And break my curse of the national jersey. At least I hope so. Um, but yeah, this stage is flying by. Let's see the breakaway, shall we? Um, Stan the Wolf, Rudy Mallards. I feel sorry for these guys because they're going to be caught. Scenes when Bevan bottles his best chance of winning by not turning up to New Zealand NC. Yeah, we'll see, Swagson. <laughs> let's, hope, let's hope he bottles it and doesn't turn up. That'd be great. Do you by any chance have the chat box below your other stream elements? I'm I. I'm not sure, Mario. I, I it's below some like my audio, but it's not below my um. My back my backgrounds, 
So that shouldn't be the issue, I guess. But it is below some audio stuff, I think. So could that be it? Not sure. Anyway, 28k to go here into Valencia. A very, very glum looking Valencia, it would seem. Uh, right, let's prepare our sprint, shall we? So, Betio is going to lead out Bisga Court. So, let's go like that. Let's have a nice big sprint train, shall we? These guys can sit up. All right, here we go. Yeah, Mario, I didn't, didn't think it should be. Radsport, what is ad time? Um, ad time is a point where you get to tell me when I should run an ad, which I can't actually believe someone would want to do, but... Believe it or not, happens a little bit last year, so I've left it there for now. <laughs> That's what it is. All right, 12k to go. We have um, Yellow yellow Valets, who's attacking. Let's go times two, shall we? Um, 10k to go here in Valencia. We're right on the front. Looking very, very good. So, Bisca does have 76 sprint on the day. I think he's actually a better sprinter here than he is in T-Mobile, which is a bit painful for me because he's actually, like, our lead sprinter for T-Mobile as well, alongside Zabel. Um, but anyway, 6k to go. Guerrero, MVP of the race, really, uh, for us, after that ride for Betio yesterday. On the front today for Stefan Bisca. <laughs> Not seeing any alcohol, alcoholic beverages in the channel <laughs> rewards. I'm sorry, Blackwall. I'll leave that to you, though, my man. I know that's your speciality, right? Anyway, two and a half K to go. Bessio on the front. Magnus Court up next. We have some very strong riders here. Here we are. Bessio Court can go. And it will be Stefan Biska wasting until the final moment to sprint. Here he goes. Can we take the win? I doubt we will. Although we're going to get close, to be fair. It's going to be second, is it? Or thirds? Sagan Mezgec, a Slovakian, is that ahead of a Slovenian, I think. And then Biska thirds. All right, not too bad. <laughs> I'm glad you lost. No, it didn't mean it badly, mate. You you yourself tell me you're a you're a you're partial. You're partial to to an alcoholic beverage now and again. Naming a region, that's what you're saving for, is it, Bogan? How much is it? Twenty five thousand. Is that right? But there you go, guys. That rounds out the race. Let's cut to this old menu screen where you can see the results. I mean, you can't see it any better, let's be real. But that was a fun race. No stage wins, but top three GC, but now takes it. Really fun race. Stage four made that race absolute class, must say. Hugh Carthy not feeling well. Hmm. All right, should be a little while. Should be all right, though. Okay. Okay, so um, let's take a look at the calendar. So we do have New Zealand up next. Classic Almira, I'll probably skip it, I'll be honest, because I played it on YouTube pretty recently. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was a great race. Really enjoyed that. Um, let's let's cut to this screen so I can see if I can fix it. You can see it moving around, right? Just a little, uh, little box. Currently 1.8k points, Bogan. Yeah, some way to go, my man. But it's a special reward, right? But I thought it was a fun one to throw in. For sure. Yeah, I don't know how to fix it. I'll have to ask you Blackwall after the stream, I expect. 9.6k, uh, Mario. Impressive stuff, my man. Very impressive stuff. Um, you're not far off. You're not far off at all. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's good. That's good. If you if you guys have... Ah, uh, were you going to check suggestions? Gal thought. Indeed I was. We'll do that. Let's see if we can do it right now, in fact. Here we are. So, how do we do this? Do we look through the teams? Or do we look through um, just the search screen? How do you guys want to do it? 3.8k for Blackwall. Best jersey. EF1 for sure, right? Definitely the best jersey. This uh, this filter doesn't always work, I've noticed. Look, let's see. Let's see if it works this time. So here are the best Japanese riders. We've already got some of the best. 
Arashiro, right? We could sign. Bring back Tazao. Ah, oh. Benji. A cruel man for that. A cruel man for that. We'll see if any Japanese youngsters come through. Um, but yeah, taking a look through the teams, looking at the younger riders. Maybe not looking for French riders so much. Jonathan Milan's a really good rider, by the way. Really talented rider. Good sprinter. Spending all my points on stay hydrated. Got to keep me hydrated, guys. Got to look, look out for me like that. <laughs> Fred Wright, like you said, really good rider. Really good rider. Milan as well. Two riders I think could do well. Um, Ida Schelling's good. I mean, the thing is, there's so many riders, right? You want to check out Connor Swift? Let's check out Connor Swift. I've, sh I've shown you uh, what... Um, Fred Wright looks like. Uh, where are they? There they are. Connor Swift. There we are, guys. What do you think? Nice. Very nice all-rounded rider, isn't he? He'd be a great signing. If you have any suggestions, let me know now and we'll uh, we'll look at them. I'll, I'll continue. And if you have any, we'll take a look for the next race. Um, but yeah, I'll add him to the shortlist, actually. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? So any, any of your suggestions, I'll try and add to a shortlist. And then we can have a look. Maybe around... April when the dossiers come. Um, I think that sounds fairly fairly smart. Not sure. 7.9k for, for Swagson. Some of you guys have some fairly hefty amount of points. <laughs> so we've got Tom Pickcock, Delco, Chun Kai Feng. Two suggestions for Chun Kai Feng. Dev team team of EF. Yeah. Yeah, Lou. Is that how you say it, Anger? Is it Lou? I can't, I can't say his first name. <laughs> Chun Kai Feng. Uh, I thought, I thought if you were here, Black Boy, you'd be um, all over him. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Do you guys really want to put me through that? Chun Kai Feng of all riders. Ah, oh, horrible stuff. All right, we haven't dropped as many frames as before. It seems zero point three percent. It's not great. Not bad. Masnada. You want Masnada. And it's is it Charles Charles Kagamu? Is that right? Radsport? He's Ghanaian, right? And I may be talking absolute rubbish. Nons Peters, Galthor. Very good suggestion. We'll, we'll take a look at these now. So let me know, guys. We have one more day to simulate. And I shall show you all the riders. We'll add them to a, to a short list um, of riders we can potentially sign. All right, here we are. Arrived at the NC where Scully is about to win. So let's let's go back. We've got Fred Wright, class rider. Great, great suggestion. Really rate him. We'll, we'll do it this way. Um, Fred Wright, get on the shortlist, my friends. We can add Connor Swift, not Dan McClay. Connor Swift. Let's check this is working. There you are. Uh, we've got Tom Pidcock. The thing is. The thing is with some of these guys is that they have really long contracts. So Tom Pickock is contracted to 2022. So we can't sign him technically this season. Could be an issue, but I'll, I'll shortlist them anyway. Chun Kai Feng is a, is a popular suggestion. Who does he ride for? Is it is it Bahrain? Indeed, it still is. There he is. <laughs> I'll add him. Radsport has gone for Masnada and Charles Kagamu. So, I know you're a big Masnada fan. Rightfully so. He's a good rider. We'll add him. Um, and Charles Kagamu. I don't know who he rides for. AG2R. Norns Peters is a class, class suggestion. Oh, he looks good as well. He looks really good here. Shortlist. Straight on. Um, who else have we missed? Mertz and Matan and Chun Bogan. <laughs> <laughs> we'll add them. Yosef Mercer, the UAE rider. And it was... Uh... <laughs> Madan could be good. Who knows? We haven't seen him yet. The uh, Bahraini rider. Who knows? Could be good. We'll shortlist them. Get him on the shortlist. Get him on the shortlist. Thinking of potential pun name riders. Yeah, Taylor. That's how to do it. That's how to do it. Um... Bike aids, Kagamu. Okay, sorry, I was just, I was just, my brain can't work quick enough. I was trying to <laughs> read back through the comments. Okay, so bike aids, bike aids. Uh, there he is. 
Oh, he's Ugandan, of course, not Ghanaian, my bad. 22 years old, to be fair. Could be a good develop, uh, developing rider. But <laughs> we'll see. I mean, we're going for kind of like out there riders at the moment, right? Could be, it could be quite a fun team. Um, okay, let's see, let's see. I'm disappointed there's no kind of more talented Japanese riders. Seems to me. Um, let's go to the attribute screen, shall we? Maybe sensible. Is this the man? <laughs> you guys like saying riders I can't say, but the Ru Rwandan talents. I mean, does it have his history? Not quite, but we'll shortlist him. To be fair, he's actually pretty good compared to some of these suge suggestions. <laughs> well, that's him. Rebellion. Yeah, he's a promising youngster. Up and coming youngster, David David A. Rebellion. Rebellion. Andre Carvalho from Cofidis. That's a good suggestion. Really good suggestion. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, we'll see, see what he can do this season. Really talented rider, it seems. Shortlist. Nice. Um, Martin, the Cofidis rider Galthor is going for. He's up for Guillaume Martin, is it? All right. All right. He could be a nice GC option. Um, Anchor. I'm not sure who that is. I'm not sure who he rides for. Um, but yeah, guys, we've got some great suggestions here. <laughs> we really do. Um, this this shortlist could look pretty pretty fun by the end of it. You, you would sign this man. He's a 59 overall. All right, all right, we're shortlisting. We'll see what he's like. Timon Aronsman, Nebido has gone for. Um, yeah, really good rider. Um, who's he ride for? His DSM, right? I mean, look at him. Really well rounded. We'll add him straight away. Lewis Askey, a Tio Viviani. God, we're, ha we're having quite the suggestions. I'm looking forward to seeing this list at the end of this. A Tio Viviani. We have Lewis Askey. I forget who he rides for, actually. I'll have to uh, do it this way. Um, Lewis Askey, but I, re I remember seeing him before on PCM. I, I know he's a good rider. Lewis Askey. Oh, what am I doing? There he is. Of course, yeah. The Group Armour FDJ, he, he rode for, didn't he? Uh, the Continental team. 19 years old. Maybe he takes after Jake Stewart, right? Yeah, you're right. You're right. My bad. Masa Maison. Mahorich. Mate Mahorich, Taylor's gone for. We'll add him straight away. Um, have I missed anyone? Marcel Maison. I forget who he rides for as well. Because he beat um, Ackerman in the German champs, which is absurd. Is it Alperson? Might be Alperson. I get the feeling it's Alperson. Tobias Byers rider I like, but yes, it is Alperson. Well, that's him. Cameron Jeffers you've gone for. The YouTube sensation, right? <laughs> um, who's he riding for? He's, riding, he's made it to Conti this year. I, I can't remember. Um, Chris Op Opie. <laughs> Mate, are we getting the GCM presenters now? Pierre Rolands coming back to EF. Ooh. Attack to Pierre Rolands. You can't say him without attacking, right? Um, Pierre Rolands is on the shortlist. 34 years old. To be fair, he's still got some, some, some level. Ribble. Yeah, Ribble. That's it. All right. We'll add him. We'll add him. And then we'll get on with the New Zealand national champs after Bogan's perfect rider. Um, ribble, ribble, ribble. There they are. I actually haven't seen him in the database. Yeah, I mean, 56. 56. 56 overall. Let's take a look. This is the current shortlist. Look at that. Quite a nice varied riders. I like it. I like it a lot. Nons Peters, really good rider. Raul Al Alicon, Raul Alicon. A buddy for Guerrero, Almeida, Joao Almeida. Ooh, and I think, let's see, his contract should be up as well. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, Joao Almeida, great suggestion. Great suggestion. He can work very nicely with Guerrero, as you say. We'll add him straight in. Um, and Raul Alicon, is he still for Porto? Is he still riding for Porto? Um, I can't remember. No, he's left. 
And he's 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 been done for doing the old uh, the old performance enhancing drugs, right? <laughs> we don't want riders like this here. We'll save that for YTC. Yeah, he's out of PCM. <laughs> I thought he was. I was like, is he still in? <laughs> One Ayuse, final rider I'll, I'll add right now, and then Ricardo Rico as well. I'll add these guys, and then we'll get on, on with the race. And if you have any more, we'll um, where is he? One Ayuse. Should he be here? Am I mistaken? Um, Ricardo Rico. <laughs> Ricardo Rico. If you guys don't know him, he's he was like addicted to the drugs, right? I think he won a stage at the tour. Armora, yeah. Joe Laverick. I've seen that Joe Laverick guy on uh, Twitter, actually. Um, Hagen's. Are they here? God, I can't remember. Oh, you said look at the Delco team, didn't you? I'll check it now. Call Pat for you, so he should be at UE. Not sure where he is. This is the Delco team. There's one man that stands out to me. Binium. Uh, but they have a few talents, for sure. A few good riders there. Another error train. One of these uh, Debussets. Check Cole Pack, you're saying, Black War. We'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. Uh, for when I used to. Where are they? There they are. They were there. Um, there he is. Excellent, mate. Thank you very much. Shortlist, when I used to. Yes, Cayman. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome in, my man. I'm back indeed. Back to streaming. Hope you'll enjoy it. Um, we're currently looking for a few riders to potentially look to sign this season. We've got quite a big list right now. Um, but yeah, if you have any suggestions, let me know if you're just joining, guys. We've got Andy Tennant from Canyon. Um, I mean, we have a long way to go to the transfers, but I'm trying to create a nice list. Um, who is it? Andrew Tennant. I mean, yeah, we'll add him. Okay. <laughs> um, Dan Lloyds and Heinrich Hausler. I mean, this that's the point where we need to stop doing this, right? Taylor, what's Dombrowski's ratings like? Yeah, he was really good. I'll uh I'll uh I'll check him. Sorry, I'm just reading up to see if I've missed anyone. I probably have. Um, let's take a look quickly at Joe Dombrowski. There he is. You can see he's he's kind of faded away, I guess. He had a good Giro a few years ago, but not for not for too long. Luca Col Colnaghi. I, I don't know who that is actually, but um, you can look sign him. Let's see. Let's see. God, quite the scrolling. Is this the man? Was it Luca? Doesn't seem to be there. Gon Goncalves. Goncalves. Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> T-Mobile Greer. Yeah, Cayman. It's on my YouTube, man. Uh, there was a new episode today if you missed it, um, which if you guys aren't subscribed, you can do here. There you go. Look at that. Um, but I think, I think we will jump into the New Zealand Championships now, guys. We have Scully, who's the favourite. Bevan's going to bottle it, is he? He is indeed. Let's see if we can take this with Scully, get our first national jersey. Um, yeah, I'll add, I'll add on Calvez as well. He's a good suggestion. Sorry about that. I missed that. Um, but yeah. Thanks for that, guys. That was very good. He's he isn't on the TV. Oh really? Yeah, major effort, Bevin Swagson. You you predicted it, my man. <laughs> Hopefully we can take advantage. Go seventy four, then lean towards seventy five for TT. Is that your suggestion? Anyway, we're in game. Let's go back to PCM. So yeah, Scully's the big favourite here. We have to win this, right? Sam Bewley, 79 is the best, apart from us. We have to win this. You just won this, Blackwall. Did you really? What, with uh, Tom Scully? It's not a long TT though, right? Oh, it is quite long. I was looking here, I thought it was short. Um, just won it, Jack Bauer Masterclass. Is that right? Is that right? He's not He's not here. Is Jack Bauer Aussie or, New or from New Zealand? Can't remember. But we should win this. We should win this. Come on. Come on. Let's try and win this. I can't. For those of you guys who don't know, I have major issues winning national championships for some reason. And Scully has a fairly good day here. We can always rely on Scully. We'll keep it on times two. But um, 
Yeah, so what I do in the in the time trials, my tactic really is to do a bit slower on the flats and downhill and try and push it a bit more in the climbs. So obviously this is a short climb, but up to eight and a half percent, up to 77 effort, and then slowly drop it to 74. That's kind of my, my tactic. Yeah, Finn, Bevan's not here. <laughs> Bevan and Bauer. We don't we don't complain about that. We don't complain about that. Let's oh, is this the What on earth? We just went through a checkpoint that wasn't a checkpoint. I thought I, I thought we were coming to the first checkpoint there. Clearly not. Clearly not. What's going on here? That, okay, that's that's not um I don't know what's going on. But Scully is first at the first split, but only just. Only I mean it's the same time. This seems to be the man we need to look out for. James Oram as well. Oram is, is on course. So I was getting getting a bit confused with so much back markers here. <laughs> we forgot Luke Plapp. Luke Plapp, yeah, Bogan. But I'll add him. I'll add Luke Plapp. Because he's a really talented rider, it seems. Let's push this now. There is a TT hack where you drop effort really low in the corners, but might feel like too much of an exploit in single player. Yeah, okay. Okay, Flynn. I won't do that. But yeah, I did notice that, actually. Um... In some of my uh, T-Mobile, uh, T-Mobile time trials, seems to seem to be the case. You spent a lot of energy in the corners without actually doing anything. Um, let's see if we've gone into the leads here. I really hope we have. We can't bottle this, right? Okay, seven seconds clear, and we're looking at okay for energy. I hope. Mindkiers. galthor has gone for Louis Mindkiers. Maybe. Maybe. So, has uh, James Oram is yet to finish? He's dropped away. I think we're looking okay here. Keep it on 70. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe not. This could be close, guys. I could bottle this TT now. Right, here we are. Sam Bewley's not going to win here. Can Tom Scully take our first win in the National Championships this season? Here he goes. Up to 95, 99 across... The line. Tom Scully, let's go. 47.09 for me, Black Core. You're a better player, mate. What can I say? <laughs> Four seconds behind. But we do get the win. Great to see. Great to see, Tom. Great to see. Quinton Herman's another suggestion. Thanks for all the suggestions, guys. Um, I will add a few now. So, Luke Plapp. I forget who he rides for. Louis Mike, yes. Yep, okay, I'll add him. I'll add Louis Mikez. We'll see if we can recover his career a little bit. Louis Mikez is in. Quinton Hermans. Is he into Marche? I think he is. Uh, is that um, Quinton Hermans' anger or, or Louis Mikez that's going to ride the Giro this year? I'll add Luke Plapp. Luke Plapp. Where is the man? There he is. Lucas Plapp. 20 years old. Yeah, he's really talented. We'll add him. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> Bogan. We're going to have quite the list, right? I mean, we have 30 spots in the team, remember, guys. And if we sign all riders like this, we may not be a World Tour team. That could be a potential issue. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's try and get on to the next race. I'm going to simulate the class cuts at Almeria because I played that a few days ago on YouTube. It wasn't the most fun race. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Uh, oh, is he, Anger? Quinton Hermans. He's doing the uh, the uh, Giro. Okay, Goncalves. I'll, I'll add him. Don't worry. I'll add him. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so... That's what I was doing. I, I had complete brain freeze. Gon Goncalves. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a good all-rounder, isn't he? Very good all-rounder. Great suggestion. We'll get him on the list. It's, it's Herman's first Grand Tour. Oh, fair play. Good for him. Um, who won the Provence here? Guillaume Martin. Okay, so it was a fairly strong rider. All right, so Sosa's won the Tour of Oman. But here, we have the Almeria. I'm going to simulate it. I hope you guys don't mind. Let's just see how we do. Let's see if we can get a win. We're not in the top 20. 
21st. 21st. Deary me. <laughs> We've gone for quite a few intermarche riders, but yeah, Danny Van Poppel. I'll add him briefly. All right, there you are. I won't add Boy because let's be honest, he's he's bad. I know I know one of you suggested him. <laughs> we're not we're not signing him. <laughs> um, but okay, we've got the road race. Tom Scully. Let's try and get that those. Uh... Oh, Bevan's here now. Bevan's here. Bevan turns up for the road race, but not the TT. And Bauer too. Unbelievable. These guys. George Bennett as well. The new the new uh, champion in real life. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, I mean, I, I keep going to this this screen. It's pointless because the chat isn't working, but we'll try. <laughs> Bevan Noob confirms. Swax, Swaxton's got Vendetta about uh, about <laughs> Patrick Bevan right here. <laughs> what a noob. This man does not know what he's doing. If Mr. DNF gets a contract with EF, I will report this dream. Mm, we'll see, Bogan. <laughs> that's, that's Van Poppel, right? Durbridge, maybe. Oh, you want to sign Durbridge? Maybe. He's, he's kind of a rival, right? I don't know. I feel like Mitchell and Scott are kind of rivals with, with EF, but they're not really, let's be honest. Um, okay. My game kind of froze there for a brief moment, luckily, but okay. Um, yeah. But <laughs> Van Poppel, Mr. DNF. Turbo Durbo, baby. <laughs> Love it, Taylor. Yeah, exactly. He, he's not a bad suggestion, let's be real. Turbo Durbo, you can't go wrong. We'll ask him after the race. Anyway, it's time for... Oh, I'm brilliant. We get a minus three. We can try and take this in a sprint, you know. Can you go... Yeah, you guys can see it, okay. Do we try and join the break? Maybe. Not sure. Okay, these, these guys are going to chase the break in. I hate this NC with a passion, Blackwater says. Ooh, strong words. Strong, strong words. We'll see if we do by the end. Breakaway galore. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like the type of race to, to jump in the breakaway. I just I just reset my face cam slightly. So hopefully it looks a bit cleaner. Um, all right, let's see if the breakaway goes here. Probably will because none of the big riders have teammates. Yeah, so it's bike, it's it's Black Spoke versus the world here in... in uh, in New Zealand. You just crashed three times with uh, Dion Smith. We have a big, I guess it's Black Spoke with the uh, no jersey yet, that's a shame. Let's try and jump in the break. So, Scully's gonna try, oh, blocks, blocks, blocks. It's tough for Scully to get in this break. I've, I've messed that up entirely. So we do get a little separation. Let's see if we can join the break today. No, no, we can't. <laughs> They're gonna chase us in. Yeah, Mark Black spoke. That's the tactic, is it, Swagson? All right, I, I won't try any more attacks. Minus three day. Hate to see it, you really do. Really, Tom, you've been so good for us so far this save. So do Black spoke have anyone in the break? Yes, they do. <laughs> yes, they do, which means we need to get in the break. Yeah, ah, uh, this, this is getting dangerous now. I'm gonna try and follow right up the road with Scully. He's not very strong though, is he? We need to get in this break if Black's bloke are there. That's the issue. Let's try and attack away because these guys aren't strong enough to follow us. Yeah. Nah, they won't reload with me exactly. We'll, we'll try and get there. So um, we're, we're breaking this break apart, if nothing else. But okay. Okay. Scully looks pretty good. We're not going to get to um, the guy at the front. But let's try and relay her. Let's see if this works. Apparently not. Because these guys aren't happy with me in the break. But they're happy with James in the break. Oh, please work with me. Please. No. No done oh boy yeah oh, i hate this nc with a passion as well blackwall 
That's make the field on a minus three, yeah. <laughs> that happens in New Zealand, right? So Black Spoke still have summoned up the roads, but apparently I can't get in the breakaway and I don't have enough energy, really. So we'll, we'll sit in for now, guys. Is that Black Spoke again? Don't think so. We'll sit in for now. It's only a minute. This is fine for now. So right now, current situation, it's still, it's this team right here. Um, St. George, of course. St. George Continental trying to bring them in. But seven riders here. This could, this could be done now. This could be done now. We'll try and relay. This could be done, I'm afraid. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is dumb. Best one Ireland. Used to team attack and win every single one. Is... Yeah. <laughs> Peloton just weren't strong enough, right, in Ireland. So I'm tempted to try and attack on this first climb here. Really am. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. No, I'm not going to do that because they're still strong here, apparently. To be fair, they don't have a massive lead, but we'll, we'll stay here. We'll stay here, see how it goes. Uh, the break will win it, I guess, in, in my New Zealand Championship. The break wins every time. Yeah, let's see if we can buck that trend. I'm doing a lot of relaying, um, but St. George's Continental and Vink are doing a lot of work still. But I'm doing a lot of work on the front. Scully's going to try it now. Someone, if like George Bennett or Bevin or Bauer join me up the roads, we could form quite a good group, I feel. See if we can get there. No. Yeah, this could be done. Let's try and bridge this gap. We need uh, a, uh, a rider here. Yeah, Scully with the 60 hill. 54, 54 mountain, 59 hill on the day. I was thinking the same. I was thinking this is, this is not, he's not going anywhere. This attack is not working. Uh, but yeah, this this is done, I'm afraid, guys. I feel. So, um, we'll go times eight, see if we can uh, make a miracle happen. Yeah, you guys were right. Missed the break. Scully of the Gods. Bennett will attack with 15k to go. Yeah, he attacks when it's too late. Right, we're caught. But I think the New Zealand champion will be one of these seven riders here. Who's the best sprinter? It looks like... I think Christensen's going to win here. Is it Ryan? We'll go Ryan. Yeah. I, I, I had high hopes for this race. I really did. I had high hopes for this New Zealand championship. Scully. The man, the myth. The tour down under winner. No, it's, it's not happening. It's not happening. Um, three minutes to that break. Let's see who wins it. 14k to go up front. Is that the George Bennett attack? Not yet. Not yet. So here we are. 6k to go. What a terrible race. What a horrible race. Yeah, Blackwall, I, I'm in full agreement with you, my man. Horrible race. But we have Christy... He's going to take it. Christensen, right? Better sprinter. Oh, no. It's going to be Christy. Christy takes it. Christy uh, wins the New Zealand Championship. Let's get rid of this race ASAP. <laughs> yeah, good shout, Blackwall. <laughs> that was an absolute shocker. Get it off my screen. And yours too. So, we do have the race up next, which... I'm very much looking forward to this week, the Tour de Hova, I'm going to say, in France. And the UAE Tour. Tom Scully, a very solid 30th position. Get Christy on the shortlist. <laughs> Let's check the New Zealand riders, actually, after that race. Um, I said I'll add someone. I've forgotten who. Uh, New Zealand, New Zealand. Christie's the man we want. Jason Christie. Get him on the shortlist. Get that man on that shortlist. Um, let me scroll up through the chat very quickly. There was someone I said I'd add. Turbo Turbo. Yeah, we'll add, we'll add Turbo Turbo. 
without Turbo Derby. I must say, I do enjoy these Travis Heller stream beats a little more than I thought I would. Turbo Derbe, where are, where are you, my man? There he is. Get on the shortlist. All right, so let's cut forward to the next race. What about the Williams brothers from that USA team? Which ones? Which ones? I'm not sure which ones you mean, actually. Fisher Black, go. <laughs> Fisher Black, the goat. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember. I don't, I don't know. We're going to have so many riders on this shortlist. <laughs> We're going to have more more on it than off it, if that makes sense, at some point. <laughs> um, okay, so do you guys want to play the Tour de Holvar? Let's, let, I'll show you the, uh, the parkour. It should be a good one, I believe. I did plan on playing it because it did look quite good, like real life. So uh, where are we looking? Where are we looking? There it is. You can see we have hills, climbs, climbs. It's quite good. We have cold dares here. We'll go for it. We'll go for it. And I think we have the UE tour starting as well. Legion, is that who you're talking about? The Williams brothers. Yeah, not so short list. We're going to have a, a very long list. Let's be real. I'll check Legion. I don't think they have a, a jersey right now. Is this, this who you mean? Tyler Williams and Corey Williams. I'll get them added. Yeah, we'll play it, guys. We'll play it. It looks fun. Um, so, yeah, we're one hour and 50 in. We've got time for the UE tour, I believe. So, Hershey's here. Pino's here. Ooh. This is the team I planned on bringing. Hugh Carthy's going to make his season debut, I believe. Powerless, Camargo, Simon Carr. Oh, what a team. With the, with the uh, Japanese duo of... Uh, Nakani and Beppu. Let's get into it. This should be a good one. Yeah, true black wolf. I kind of forgot about that. Is it the same parkour? I, this looks like the same parkour as that's real life. Um, we'll see. But yeah, Hershey's here and Pino's here. This should be a fun race. Hugh Carthy's gonna beat both. Of them. Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Radsport. So much for the shorts list. Twenty-seven subscribers. What on earth? That's all those gift subs. Guys, thank you for the support today. Massive support on the stream. Unreal. Anyway, today we're going to to grass, grassy, grass. I can't, I can't say that. From La Cane. 183 kilometers, hills throughout. Warren Bar Gills here, I can see. Tayada too, should be good. Yeah, diff one, exactly, exactly Black Horse. So we're all right. We're not, we're not uh, doubling up on, on stages. Mike Woods is here. I'll show you the start list in a second when we load in. But this should be a fun race, I hope. Ooh. Let's see if we can load in okay. I hope we can. So, Hugh Carthy's going to be leading our Giro team this year, which I'm, I'm looking forward to. We're going to go go back there with the Brits, see if he can... Was, was he fourth last year at Giro? I think he was fourth. Very strong. See if we can do even better this time. Um, yeah, we're having a few issues loading the stage, but should be okay, I hope. Otherwise, we'll just reboot quickly. So, UAE Tours up next week, guys. Who do you think is going to win it? I think Pogaccia is the favourite. We have Adam Yates going back, Chris Froome. I'm not actually sure who else is there at the moment. Um, but yeah, who do you think is going to win? Oh, I'm going Pogaccia. Pogaccia has to win it, I think, for the for the sponsors, right? Because the only home race of the season, they're going to be pretty annoyed not to have won it last year. I think they'll win it next year. Um, but yeah, we're struggling to load the stage. I might reboot the uh, the game quickly. I will do. I will do. Bear with, guys. We'll be one moment, I hope. Okay. Yeah, classic PCM, right? Classic PCM. Maybe I'll shot. Yeah, should be okay. All right. Shouldn't be a minute. We'll just reboot.
PCM also has an issue I've noticed where I launch it and it it kind of doesn't respond sometimes. It's very strange. Very strange game, this game, isn't it? Chris OP left GCN and he is currently with St. Piran, who's which is a Cornish team. Yeah, I, I think you're right. All right, we're back in the game. I'll just show you briefly. Just so you remember what we're streaming here. Let's see if we can load it again. If not, we'll have to just cut the UAE talk. Should be okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just make sure I stay here, Mario. I'll make sure I stay here. Yeah, I know. I remember Chris Opie left actually because he was riding at quite a high level a few years ago. I think the Tour of Britain, he he finished second to Grunewagen, I think, unless I'm mistaken. I may be mistaken there, but I remember I remember thinking this man's quite accomplished. Um, so yeah, it's good to see him back in uh, back in back in action, I guess. Oh, did you, Taylor? You met all the GCM boys while on holiday in Mallorca. Really? Who did you meet? I guess Dan Lloyd. That's brilliant. New York is very nice. I've been a few times. Very nice place. A question: Do you ride? Do you ride a bike? Yes, I do. I ride it on Zwift mainly. Um, I had a bit of a hit outside a year and a half ago now, probably, um, where I had a little collision with a car. So I stick to Zwift mainly nowadays. But I'm not. I'm not very good. Uh, but I ride two to three times a week, maybe. <laughs> depending how I'm feeling um, but yeah I, I ride a bit I'm not great at all but um, yeah I enjoy it happen to be at the same hotel oh really Taylor how interesting what are the chances um, but yeah you guys see this stage is struggling a bit we'll give it a few minutes if not we'll get the UAE tour it's a shame I wanted to see Carthy in action Galthor I got I got a photo with the 2018 Giro and Tour winner whilst at the Tour of Britain is that right The GCN Japan presenter Italia and the Spanish GCN. Oh wow, the full that's the full GCN team, right? And the UK guys. Wow. Um. Yeah, struggling, I'm afraid, guys. Yeah, we're gonna have to bin it, I'm afraid. We've been this damn race. <laughs> Let's get on to the uh, UAE tour, shall we? That's a shame. I wanted to play that race. It's a real shame. Um, but apparently this stage is a bit too hot to handle, I guess. <laughs> um, bear with, we should be back in shortly. Yeah, in the muds. I can't even say the name of the race, so got, I'm glad it's in the muds. Alright, we is back in. We is back in. Well, uh... Oh, you won't be able to teach me, that's for sure. Um, I see Valverde is going to retire this season in PCM. What a shame. Anyway, we'll simulate this. Let's see if we can win it on Sim, shall we? You can speak French, Blackwall. I didn't realise. I didn't realise. Okay, so Carthy does right here, but Woods wins the stage. I'm going to change this song because I'm not enjoying it one bit. Harris Heller has some good songs and then some that's just not my style. But anyway, this should be a bit better. Yeah, Pollo. I, I remember him as well. I, I obviously don't watch Spanish GCM, but um, yeah, I, I remember. I recall his name. Carthy fifth place to start his season. Okay. To be fair, I don't mind simming this race. It, it helps us get to UAE and and on loop hopefully a bit sooner as well. Oscar Pio. Yeah, and GCN also have. Um, he was the guy who rode the cobbles for Ineos or Sky a few years ago. Oh, I forget his name. Uh, but yeah, I think he still works for GCM. Yeah, Radsport. He only sometimes does. He's a, he's a very English Frenchman. <laughs> anyway, second stage. I, I won't try it again. Let's simulate it. Oh, it's a shame. Fun race. Oh! Come on! Hugh Carthy. Giro winner of this season incoming. Look at Camargo, look at Car, look at the boys. Let's simulate every stage, guys. Look at that. Car, Camargo, and Carthy. Let's go. Yeah, Savello test team. I think that was the one Dan Lloyd was on as well, unless I'm mistaken. Anyway, I think we now. Oh, I saw Roglic was injured there. Broken wrist for Primoz Roglic. Pino in the mud, exactly, Swagson. <laughs> 
Cold Zairs or Cold Zairs. Exactly, Blackwall. Exactly, my man. <laughs> Could not agree more. All right, UEE. Let's get into this one. Now we have a, a proper race, right? Um, but this is the theme I plan to bring. We have Rigo, who's going to lead our team. Um, we have TJ, Bissiga again, Barca, Guero, Craddock, Rich. It's a strong team with Iran as leader and Craddock, um, and sorry, and Van Garderen as our sprinter. So um, that should be fun. Um, we have a team time trial to get underway. Let's, let's get it. Let's get it. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. This, if this stage doesn't load, we're really in the mud. Guerrero Domestique. Ah, Bogan, he might not be. He might not be. Is he here? I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember if he's uh, at, this, at this race for us. Oh, he is. My bad. <laughs> I, just said, I just said his name. Skipped over him completely. It, it, it was it was because TJ. I saw TJ and I just panicked of excitement. Um, come on, Jonathan. Work can wait, man. Work can wait. <laughs> uh, I'm joking. Stay stay focused, my dude. Stay focused. There'll be, there'll be streams coming up as well. And of course, you can catch up. Good chance to plug over here if you guys wish. If you miss a stream, catch up here. My um my new channel, which I'll upload the stream replays to. We'll get TJ in the stream. <laughs> are you talking about the real TJ? Because if you are, you're a bit ambitious, I think. We've got Alaphilippe, Maznada here, Sam Bennett. Let's see the start list. Alaphilippe, Van Der Poel, Fulsang, Shackman, Bookman, Carapaz. Look at the Ineos team. Carapaz, Bernal, Dennis, Gagan, Hart. What on earth? That Ineos team. Look at, look at that Ineos team regarding the mountains. Unreal. Pogaccia. The real TJ, <laughs> mate. We can dream. We can dream. All right, I'll, I'll take a, I'll take a podium here with Virgo. That'll be a good result, I feel. We should be next underway. So we did right in the last team time team time trial, to be fair. So we'll pause it just before we get underway. Everyone can go 99. Should be good. So Biscuits on a good day. Rich. Barton, not on a great day, but he's very good. Guerrero cannot TT. Craddock can. So I, I picked this team, I remember, with this team time trial in mind because all our guys, very good time trialists. All right, let's go. Apart from Ruben. He, Ruben. Ruben can sit on the back. Sit on the back, my friends. This isn't for you today. We tried to get him on YTC. Sadly, the man has won the same amount of, of TDF as he's written tweets since 2016. <laughs> yeah, TJ, not the most active man on uh, the old social media, I'm afraid. Which does put in into difficulty how easy it is to get him on the stream, right? Yeah, Jonathan. Benji, Benji gave a lot of people a sub. Very nice of him. Far too kind of him. But yeah, welcome to the... To the subscribers <laughs> anyway we're, we're fourth at that first split this is going very well Rutch can sit on the back as well go away, go away go away that's it he was very active on insta during the tour oh was he tj i was actually planning to subscribe myself but thanks benji ah oh, jonathan very kind of you man but take advantage of it of uh, benji's kindness far too kind of him um okay so biscuit on the front can Biscuit just lead us in? I feel he can. Biscuit's going to lead us in. Biscuit's taking us through the line here. Come on, Stefan. Come on, Stefan. So we were four. We were six seconds down at the first split. Let's see. Ah, oh, nine seconds. It's not bad. It's not bad. But I think Ineos are going to win this. Yes, they are. Ineos. Ineos are just ruin all the fun right ah but anyway it is going to be Teo Gegenhart in the lead of the race now their team is unreal I mean what are the mountain stats of all their riders they've got Gegenharts they've got 79 sorry 75 78 82 81 81 77 hmm. anyway we were we were in the end eighth place it's not great it's not too bad though 
We'll call him doing a live. Oh, did he? TJ did a live, a live on Insta after each stage. Oh, I completely missed that. What a shame. Well, hopefully, if he's back at the tour this year, we'll uh, we'll catch it. Let's go, Micah. Yeah, Banny, you're a you're a Micah fan. You're sporting Micah in this race, are you? Oh, not sure about that one. Not sure about that one at all. Look at this. Look at this from Simon Carr. Lousy race. The Tour de Holvar. It's because he can't say it either. Um, but he thinks it's a lousy race. Oh, thanks, Blackwall. Makes me feel a lot better. Oof. Come on. Come on, Simon. you got you got to earn your cards here, mate. Anyway, we'll simulate this one as well. I'd love to play this stage, but I don't think we're going to be able to. So we'll, we'll simulate it, shall we? Yeah, Bogan, I think it is. I think it is. Uh, this doesn't seem to be that uh, that parkour's though, sadly. Yeah, Banny, yeah, fan of all Polish cyclists. <laughs> that makes sense. But Hugh Carthy here. Let's guys, we're simulating from now on. This is a simulate-only career because Hugh Carthy has won the Tour de Holtvar ahead of Thibaut Pino, Mark Hershey, Madua. He's won the sprint jersey. And for us, it was another good stage, was it, for uh, Camargo. Camargo did very well here. Powerless. That looked like a really fun race. I'm really happy we, we missed that. <laughs> Car about to do an Alex Kirsch, yeah. <laughs> Binning off races that you can't be bothered to ride. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Banny. I, kn I know Mike is at UAE. Yeah, that's right. Is He's here in the uh, in the save, is he? I missed that, if so. Um, but yeah. He's a strong, I think he's going to be a domestique, is uh, Raffle Micah. Mainly. Alright, so we've got a sprint stage. We have a sprint stage coming up. We'll play it, we'll play it, why not? Let's go. Yeah, I'll, I'll check for you, you Banny, we'll see. He became French, he has to complain. It's in the roadbook on how to be the best Frenchman regarding Simon Carr, Blackwall. Yeah, of course. Simon Carr. I mean, I've kept him British here to try and prevent that from happening, but clearly it hasn't worked, right? Terrible stuff. Terrible, terrible stuff. Um, anyway. UAE with Micah, Pog, McNulty and Formula. Yeah. It sounds like they're real UAE team, right? They've got Gaviria, they've got... Have they got Kristoff? as well the real UAE team Emirates team for the UAE tour is unreal <laughs> yeah I should probably give him French right and he'll, and maybe he'll behave a bit better so this album's called Gold Harris Heller a few bangers I must say a few bangers anyway here we are So, great form, absolutely great form today. But um, the T-Mobile legends are the only guys doing all right, Bisker and Rutch. TJ, you're, you're, you're protecting today, you're protecting today. So this, this stage is gonna be a quick one because we're gonna try and just get the sprint. Oh, it's a fairly big breakaway though. UAE, uh, ooh, ooh, words. UAE will go with Hershey, Pogaccio, Formolo, Mikel Bjerg, Fernando Gaviria, and Max Rochesi. Yeah, Bogan, that team is stats. Comparing it to their team here now, they've got Pogaccio, Formolo, Micah, McNulty, Palank, Trent, and Ulysses. To be fair, it's like pretty much as strong, right? Maybe not as much in the mountains, but Micah's here. Maybe Micah's their leader, we'll see. <laughs> but I think he's going to work in real life for Pogaccio at the tour. That'll be interesting. Yeah, it should be a fun start list, to be fair. We're not one of the favourites by any stretch. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a sprint. You can see. What's happened here? Got a fool. That'll be alright. Uh, yeah, pointless going in the breakaway today. There is just no point at all at this race. As they travel through the very uh, exciting um, setting of the United Arab Emirates. I mean, I say that. I've never been. It probably is very exciting. Um, 
Micah is not that strong, sadly. Yeah, your banner, you're right. He's not. He's not. Um, but he, he's he's a good rider. He can top 10 GCs, but he's not really a leader, in my opinion. Yeah, shame about Ulysses, isn't it? I'm not sure what the update is. He had an issue with his heart, right? That was the issue. Yeah, exactly, Yabani. He's good for the kind of second class races. Good leader there, but probably a better domestique elsewhere. Black Wars bin. The main road is collapsed. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. In the towns, I bet it's really great. But um, in like, obviously, Dubai, Abu Dhabi. And we are going to Abu Dhabi. And it does look quite exciting. All right. <laughs> Makes sense. So we have 55k to go. We're just going to fly through this sprint stage. See if uh, Bissiger can maybe cause an upset. Yeah, did he, Bogan? Yeah, it's a real shame. I think Viviani did as well, right? Um, Viviani and Ulysses seem to have issues with the heart. Real, real. It's really worrying, to be honest. Hopefully they'll be all right. I think uh, they will be, from what I've heard. But yeah, break are going to be caught here. 20k to go. All right, so we'll have... Who should we go for? Jonas Roach looking good. We have no lead out, I've just realised. We have absolutely no lead out. Oh boy. This could be interesting. We'll give it a go. <laughs> so 15k to go. I may try and follow just one of, one of the other sprinters. Who do we have? We've got Sam Bennett. I mean, Van Der Poel's here. To be fair, not too many sprinters, I guess. Michael Matthews, there's no Caleb Ewan. Okay, maybe we do have a chance. Yeah, but Viviani isn't as bad as Ulysses. Okay, okay, I see. Well, hopefully they both recover. Who needs a lead out when you have TJ? Where is he? He's going on the back here. TJ is going to try and sprint for this. Get off our wheel. TJ is going on the wheel. I think TJ can try and take the stage, guys. Head of Sam Bennett. It's Sam Bennett versus TJ here. And maybe Aru as well. Aru's here ready to sprint. Use the gels. TJ getting into prime position into the final 5k. Come on. Are you guys, are you guys feeling confident in TJ? I certainly am. 4k to go. Flynn's feeling confident. TJ any day. TJ on the wheel of Stefan Biska. Looking comfortable. 3k to go. Guerrero is going to be a domestique again here. Ooh, gone a little early. Guerrero is going to try and go into the final 1.4k. Bissiger, 1k. And TJ, TJ, TJ's coming. No, he's not. It's going to be Michael Matthews. I thought TJ had it for a second. But Bissiger is going to be top five. Top five. To be fair, there's no real strong sprinters here. Sam Bennett was nowhere. Um, but yeah, TJ, so close, so close. TJ or unsub. Where was he? 15th. It's not bad, right? <laughs> oh dear. Good place for An Aniokowski. Yeah, the Polish rider. He's a sprinter for, um, is he for Intermarche now? You can see, where's, there's TJ. That's TJ there. He was coming at the end. He was coming quickly. If it was 100 meters more, I think TJ had it for sure. Is TJ going to use more than 10% of his power? <laughs> I think that was only 5%. Just wait and see the next sprint. Deary me. <laughs> Siegel fourth. Yeah, there were some weird results there, right? Let's see. Look at that. TJ had a chance. There's no sprinters here. There really isn't. Very interesting. All right. Ah, uh, bingo. Yes, you're right. So you're correct, you're Banny. You are correct. If I'm saying your name incorrectly, just let me know. Um, and I can alter that. Has Jay McCarthy got a team yet? Yeah, because he. I think he was kicked off Bora, right? He's kicked off Bora. Well, kicked off. I don't think he was re-signed. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, actually. Yeah, Bauer have feeds up next. Let's go. Alaphilippe, Fulsang, and Poggy are the favourites. Mario. Um, I don't believe I did. In fact, no. I did some of it, but I don't think I did the rider planning. I don't think I did the 
the other team's AI planning. I thought I'd test it without, to be honest, because it's, it does, like I think you mentioned before, using the PCM Career Explorer has seemed to have caused one or two issues with the, the Ineos lineup at the Grand Tours and maybe one or two other teams. So I'm not sure if that's PCM Career related, by the way, but I just thought I'd test it without, to be honest, see if it changed anything. Um, because the PCM Career Explorer, guys, if, if, you, if you guys don't know it, is a really good tool um, that you can use to do a lot of things with PCM, to be fair, look at stuff and also do the planning of your team and other teams. Um, oh, is it? It's fixed now, is it, Mario? Oh, nice. Excellent, your banny. Excellent. Someone's impressed with, with my pronunciations, guys. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real day. Finn, 535, you're out for the day. It was a nice dream. No worries. Thank you, man. Thanks for dropping by. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and again, you can catch up on the, the YouTube live if you're interested. Um, but yeah, thanks for thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Black was impressed. It was because of over, overlapping races and injuries. Right, I see, Mario, I see. Well, it's good, good to hear it's fixed, if it is. Oh, okay, Iran's got minus three. Iran has got a minus three. Oh, God. We'll see what we can do with him anyway. Because of, because of injuries in riders' plans for the race, I see Mario and it, it didn't replace them, I guess. Okay, well, it's good to hear it fixed. I, I always do use the PCM Career Explorer. To be honest, I planned on using it and I already gone past the 1st of January, so it was kind of too late. Um, but yeah, it's good to hear it's fixed. Ruben leader hype, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, I swear I protected him. Okay, we'll just keep our guys to the front. We'll, we'll, as always with the UAE Tour, the first kilometres are ultra exciting. Um, and then it's kind of a boring finish. So that, that's kind of the case again with today's stage. Um, Hagrid, oh, I got a gifted sub from the legend Benji Narsen. Indeed you did. Benji gifted a lot of subs. And so did Matiago. Um, and other guys as well, Morty. It was, it was a crazy start to the stream. But yes, you did get a gifted sub from the main man, the main man, the myth, Benji Narsen. Ah, uh, oh, I see Mario, okay. I see, I see, okay. So so that new issue has caused this present issue, is that right? Anyway, I haven't used the Career Explorer for this one, so uh, hopefully we won't experience them. Hey, Black War. To be fair, if we, if we do lose today, it will be because Rigo ran out of energy. Very nice, my man. Very nice. You can see why you add such comedic value to, to the Ascent Cycling podcast, right? <laughs> very, very good. Guy, you, you even impress me sometimes, must say. <laughs> I mentioned this to Davey, but he's been absent lately. Yeah, Mario, I've noticed he's been a bit absent. Um... Yeah, hopefully he'll be around to, to fix that. Potentially, if it's possible. Okay, so four riders in the break. Chinetsky, Passions, Nathan Haas, and uh, Tusfeld for Team DSM. Again, waste of time for them. He's basically a comedian at this point. Yeah, we'll see, my man. One day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Rigo's going to run out of energy and Will's going to get bartered. <laughs> Will's going to get bartered by the opposition. Even though he's been protected by um, Stefan Biska, Will's going to get bartered in this one. Hagrid, update on my 2002 career. Armstrong majorly flopped in the Tour de France, only finishing fourth. Did the DB give him the, the uh, performance enhancing drugs? If not, we know the reason why he flopped, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, is that your Valverde save? Was it with Valverde? Is that right? Or was it someone else? I can't remember. Yeah, guys, the, the, the pun's going on. The, your, the pun game is strong. <laughs> uh, I was trying to think of Craddock, crack, crack, cracking. No, it doesn't work, does it? I'll, I'll leave it to you guys. I'll leave it to you guys and I'll try and relay them. <laughs> Hopefully Ruben will be Guerrero today. Ah, is, is, is that what it means? Guerrero means, Guerrero means fighter in Portuguese. Ah, it's interesting. I didn't know that. It's kind of a, a brave, a brave or fighter. Okay, 
Interesting, Bacon. Yeah, that's a good one. It's a good one. Mario likes it. Okay, so 30k to go. We're coming towards Yabao Yes. The breakaway have just under a minute. So I've tried to save energy all day, as you see. I've just had them 60 maintain, which hopefully does mean they won't spend stupid energy on the flat. That's my kind of thinking there. Benji brings the views, you bring the gameplay, I bring the comedy. What a majestic trio. Benji brings the views. <laughs> oh, that's jokes. <laughs> Benji brings the views. All right, so Aran is right to the back. So is TJ. Come on, TJ. TJ can go on Aran's wheel. They can work together. Guerrero's in a great position. See? Right. I'll pause it, guys. This situation, what do you do? In game, right? You're to the back of the group with your leader. You have a flat run into the climb. Do you spend the energy? Do you go to like 80 now to try and get to here, this section, before the climb? Or do you wait for the climb? Because I know I'm never sure what to do, to be honest. I'll try and get there a little bit today. But um I don't know I don't know the best what actually the best strategy is in a situation like that. What what's your guys' take? Because obviously the energy is surely better spent on the climb, but also positioning is very important. I don't know. Um Use energy before. So Your stream is so educational. Well yeah, Banny, we'll see. So Hagrid's using the energy before. Yeah, not sure. We'll see. I'll, I'll try and get there now. Let's let's try and do it. Um, we're probably a little late, but no, we are going to get there here. Oh, this, this is a big scene, a, a big tune. Anyway, all right. So Yabo Hafid starts, and we are now there. We've spent the energy. We come to the left hand side of the roads. We are in clean air. There you are, guys. We are. I've, I've followed your advice. We'll just sit here for now. Looking very, very good. Always at the front for Yebo Hafiz, Swagson saying. Yeah, it's, it's, it, I was going to say, this climb of, of really is one that is more crucial, I think, to be at the front. Anyway, we're going very hard here. Who's our leader? Is it Iran? Or is it Guerrero, the, the fighter? Hagrid, it's clever to be aggressive. Yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm just trying to stay to the front, but 7k to go. Um, I'm trying to use my helpers like Rich, who is now done. Um, and what I'm thinking is we can maybe launch an attack, but I'm trying to just use these guys whilst they're still here. That makes sense. Um, okay, okay. So maybe we can try something now. 5k to go. Not sure. I think we can. The thing is, when there's so many domestiques still hanging around, it's probably not the best idea to attack. Like Jacopo Mosca is still here. Can I attack? Probably not. So I'll, ju I'll just stay for now. I'll just stay for now, actually. Spent a little bit too much energy as well. All right, here we go. Bookman's going to attack. Bookman's going to attack. Let's try and follow Alaphilippe with the ran. These guys can just sit in. So Rigo is going to try and follow these guys up the roads. And he cannot follow Julian. Oh my words. So we're with Pogacha. We'll try and follow Pogacha to the line with the ran. That's not going to work. <laughs> but Bookman Bennett. George Bennett's in great form in this save. So 2k to go. Rigo is trying to stay with uh, Pog and he is done. On the other hand... Will Bart is doing very well, and so is Ruben Guerrero. Up the road, though, it's Bennett, Bookman. Here goes Pog. I was going to say, I said Iran can't follow him, and that is clear right there. But we have a good finish here with um, Will Barter and uh, Ruben Guerrero. Iran's nowhere <laughs> behind Chicone, he's cracked. Um, but okay, it's going to be very close. Whew. It's Bookman, then Bennett, then Pog. Michael Matthews is going to be in the top five. What on earth? But Ruben putting a great performance here today. Um, yeah, I mean, a ran on a minus three. I'd have liked to have tried more, but I I'm fairly happy with that, to be fair. Carapaz cracks a bit. But now, too. And I think there will be some time gaps here on this uh, on this stage. Let's go forward. Yeah. So, so how do you say the drinks, then? 
Bebedas is drinks in Spanish. Yeah, Portuguese is quite different. I've been to Portugal and I think it's fair. There are similarities, but I think it's quite different to Spanish. Yeah, Spaxton, you caught it for me, mate. <laughs> My bad, Chicone was done. Yeah, yeah, Banny. I mean, I mean, I tried to follow with a ran, but yeah, minus three, difficult to do that. Okay, so Bookman, Bennett, and Pog look to be uh, strongest here. But Ruben's there. Ruben's our leader, I think, now. Yeah, look at that. Ruben in the front group. Let's. I'll just. Uh, again, I could probably move this to a different area so you can actually see. Um, but Guerrero's in this group of 19 seconds, then Barter at 30. And Iran is all the way back at 57 now. So Ruben could be our leader. Great to see. The Portuguese Armada are going to be happy. <laughs> I hope. That was a fitness peak for Bisca as well, actually. I missed that. So Bisca, our sprinter, should be in good form for this race. Let's, let's hope. Excellent. Excellent stuff. All right, so... I think we've got Hatter Dam next. I think usually it's not on the on the uh, parkours this year at the UAE Tour, which is a bit strange. I'm used to Hatter Dam being a a key feature of the race, but obviously not this year. Geda, hello, welcome, man. You join in time for the UAE Tour with three stages in. I'll show you the overall very very quickly, um, just to catch you up. So it was we just had the Yabal Yace. We had a team tri time trial first. We were eighth. Um, we then came top five with Bisca in the sprint. And then we had Bookman winning on Yebo Hafiz. Sorry, not Yebo Yes. Um, Bogan Heat. I'll check. I'll check. Uh, but yeah, get it. We're about to play Hatterdam. Welcome. I hope you're good. Valgren hasn't raced yet. Um, and I, I kind of did the planner up to the Giro. So I'll show you what. Um, Valgren's set to ride Omloop in this, in this dreams. And then KBK. I think we'll finish at KBK. Maybe. Seems a sensible place to stop. Or we can maybe play Strada and... Uh, I can't say it. The Italian race. <laughs> um, in the stream as well. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah. Valgren is yet to race this season. Okay. So, Hatterdam. I'm never very good on Hatterdam. I remember in my T-Mobile save. I think it was Kuhn Bauman who won on Hatterdam. Which is unreal. He's got about... He's got about 72 sprint, I think. Um, yes, yeah, crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see what we can do. I think Biscuit will lead us again today. But Michael Matthews is in great form, clearly. Top five on Yebo Hafiz. He, he's going he's gonna to win this stage, I think. Uh, we'll see. Okay, so... We do have Omloop coming up very quickly, actually. I, I felt like it was further away, but we only have, I think, two more stages. And then we'll have Omloop Pet News Blab, where Betty Ol, where um, obviously Valgren as well, will we'll try and fight for it. I won, Fear says, I won on Hatter Dam with Emil Lipins this season. Weird stage. Sometimes game can't decide to go for it with punch. Yeah, it is really weird, Fear. So you won with Emil, Emil Lipins, the uh, Latvian, I think he is. Yeah, you need to be at the front in the final two to three kilometers from the finish and then hammer it. Um, I know the variant you mean. I prefer the one which is kind of straight up to the line right at the very end rather than... Sorry, my hand's right there. Um, let's, let's see which variant it is, shall we? Oh, I'm in game. Here we are. Yeah, so I prefer this variant. This is more realistic, I feel, than the other one. So uh, I'm glad it's this one. But Ruben's going to lead us again today, guys. You'll be happy to know. Ruben Guerrero. Guerrero. Still just cannot say it, can I? It's causing me great issues. Biscuit's on his fitness peak and he gets a zero. That's a shame. Guerrero wins it. Black Wars called it right now. Come on, we need to get a win. It's been a while since we won. Have we won this? I, I know we won the time trial in New Zealand. Did we win? We didn't win in Valenciana, did we? I'll bet the entire Ascent revenue on it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> You're brave. You're very brave to do so, uh, Blackwell. Hagrid's gone Guerrero. Guerrero. Gu I say Guerrero. Guerrero. Ruben Gu... I used to say Ruben Guerrero, but, but that, that's not right, is it? All right, so three riders in the break. Let's check out who it is. Malexi's there. 
TJ in the escape. Is that what you're thinking, Yunus? I've missed it now. Yeah. Yeah, Bogan, we won with Carthy, but I didn't win with Carthy. <laughs> the simulator won with Carthy, man. <laughs> I can't say it, Bogan. I can't say it. Ruben Aguero. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go times eight. That's fine. These sprints don't matter at all. And I think after this kind of second peak, kind of right on the right-hand side now, that's where you need to go to the front and be there right for the finish. Balotelli! Aguero! What a line. What a line. When that happens in real life, for those of you who don't know, Bal Balotelli lays it off. Sergio Aguero, two-man city. They win the league first time. I think first time Premier League. Was it 2012 or was it 2013? Oh, I, I, I remember that vividly. I think I ran outside my house in shock because I really did, what, did not want United to win it. Was it 2012? I swear you'll never see like this. <laughs> I can't say it. I swear you'll never see anything like this ever again. So watch it. Drink it in. <laughs> Martin Seiler, watch out. I'm coming for you. Jonas, what club are you from? I, I believe you mean what team do I support in football? And uh, oh, I've got nothing really in here. I'm a Liverpool fan. Next stream, I will have to wear my Liverpool shirt. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a Liverpool fan, which uh, we won't talk about it. We won't talk about it at the moment with the way things are going, right? <laughs> Corner taken quickly. Arigi! Oh boy, that goal. When that went in as well. It was also, I think, in the Barcelona game when Wijnaldum scored and he was he was really going for it. I think he scored twice, right? When Wijnaldum scored in that Barcelona game, oh, it was it was massive. It was massive. Jonas is a Benfica fan. We're in the same situation. I think Mario has spoken about this before. That uh, Benfica are in a fairly similar situation to Liverpool right now, just where they're not performing anywhere near what they should be. And it, I don't know what the injury situation is like there, but um, yeah, it's not good. It's not good, is it? It's not good at all. Uh, Taylor says, Aguero, Dini and Origi are the three maddest moments in English football. I mean, Origi was Champions League, so is that English football? I guess so. But um, yeah, uh, oh, I can't remember the commentary for the Dini goal. But basically, it's where knockout misses the penalty, right? And uh, Dini runs up the other end and scores. Falls for Hog. Dini! <laughs> what a moment. Bogan's a national fanboy. As in which company? Uh, which country? There's a few, actually. Is that the uh, Portuguese? Because I think there's a, um, a Brazilian team as well. Oh, really, Rasport? That was a good one, was it? Do not scratch your eyes! Yes, Taylor, that's it, that's it. Do not scratch your eyes. Great stuff, great stuff. Being a sports commentator would be just unreal, wouldn't it? If you're good at it, it would be unreal, I imagine. Getter's team is, oh, I can't say it. It's Le Leuven, right? Le Leuven? OHL, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> Blackboys is, I mean, Blackboys, you say Leon aren't good, but they beat Man City last season, so. And you got to the Champions League semi finals last season, so you may not be doing great this year, my man, but um, yeah, you're not doing too badly overall. Anyway, 11k to go. Tim Zoski for Eurosport, I vote. Oh, really, Jonas? I mean, I'd like that. <laughs> but anyway, Formlo, Alaphilippe, Fulsan, Caruso, they're all on the attack, and I need to sort myself out right now. Barca can relay. Rigo's Rigo's a domestique here. And we'll put Bisker on the back as well, actually. Let's try and let's try and bring these guys in. We have eight and a half K to go. Credit, come on. Alright, so Alaphilippe and that group of courts. Get out, get out of the way. We have 30 riders. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Craddock, absolutely hammer it. Absolutely hammer it. Now we have Barter. 
I'll catch up with the chat, guys. Oh, but look at Julian. Julian's going before Hatter's Dam. He's a brave man. Okay, so we're going for Guerrero or Bissiger here. But I think Guerrero could be our man. I'm not sure when to sprint. But Alaphilippe surely won't win this. Rigo, come on. So we have, we're here. Three Ks to go. We are at the front where you said we need to be. Um, okay, we're looking good. There are some splits behind, but Rigo is going to be TJ, TJ on the lead out. Here we are. TJ is going to sprint. Guerrero's going now. Guerrero's going now. Biscuit, biscuit too. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Guerrero. Come on, Guerrero. Hold it to the line. Hold it to the line. Oh, it's an easy dub. Oof. Ruben Guerrero wins stage four of the UAE Tour. Finally, we get a big win. Oh, it's been a little while. Bookman third on how to dam. You sure, PCM? But anyway, look at look at these gaps. We have a gap here, right? That's a gap. And I want to I want to stop. Yeah, no, stop, stop. Carry on. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that uh, that group were behind. Mario, hundred bits. Thank you, mates. Yes, for the big win. For the big win. Cheers, guys. Yeah, your bunny. Easy win. Easy win. <laughs> Guerrero goats. That was that was nice. That was he kind of had the just advantage. Came coming in in the perfect. Oh look, we get some seconds. We get some seconds. Five seconds on Martin and eight on everyone else. Guerrero, what's he? I shouldn't have celebrated. I didn't think we'd get a time gap there. Okay, and that does put us now sixth place in GC. Come on, Ruben, you can win this race. I'm, I'm sure of it. Pog's in the uh, lead. All right, love it. Um. <laughs> we always beat City. Yeah, yeah. They're not they're not great, are they? <laughs> I ate turkey. <laughs> ah, Mario. I don't know the Oliver Olivier. I don't know the Olivier guy from Eurosport Portugal. I'll ha I'll have to check him out after this. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. If Guerrero gets a great day here, he can win this race. I'm telling you. Let's see. All right. I'm happy with that. Finally, we get a win. I felt like I've forgotten how to play this game, you know. <laughs> um, until that moment, we're a bit better. Feeling a bit more confident now. <laughs> so I think, is it Yebo her feet next? It may be. Let's see. Maybe a sprint stage though. Yeah, it's a sprint stage. All right. We'll play this first then. Ruben Diaz, better than Van Dijk. Ooh, Jonas. Ooh. Ooh. Not sure I... Not sure I can agree with that. Ruben Diaz better than Van Dyke. Oh, that's a big claim. That's a big claim. Ruben Diaz has been great. Don't don't get me wrong, but Van Dyke is Van Dyke, and he's not here this season. So, you know, we'll say that next season when when they're both fit. Hopefully, you lost two minutes on Hazard Dam after a sim. Yeah, Blackwall. Yeah, not good. He's super funny. And he has a very cool French accent while speaking Portuguese. Oh, really? <laughs> the thing is, I wouldn't really pick up on that because obviously I'm not a native Portuguese speaker. Yeah, Mario. Yeah, I saw that. Don't worry. That's all right. I don't know why. Dejan Lovren, Lovren above all. That's what Blackpool's suggestion. Suggest, suggesting... To be fair, we could do with Lovren right now. We could have done with him this season. Like, we kept him for a few seasons where we just didn't need him. And now the, re the season we sold him, we actually needed him. So, so stupid. Lovren, Goat, Phil Jones, Goat, Lindelof. Nah, not Lindelof. Come on. But yeah, Phil Jones, Goat. I, I, can, uh, I can back that one up. Okay, we get some bad race days out of the way. Re Ruben gets a minus three. Oh boy, that's that's oh, horrible. Why why is Biscar? He's he's on his fitness peak and he he can't get a good day on a on a sprint stage. We'll try and protect Ruben though, who's definitely our leader, I think. Iran's one minute down, and uh, Bart is 44. So so they are backup options. I'll uh, protect TJ. There you are. So th so they are still options to be fair, but um, yeah, we want to go for Ruben, don't we? <laughs> Phil Jones Goat, you were kidding. 
To be fair, I think he's underrated. I actually, I, I actually am serious there. Like Phil Jones, don't get me wrong. He's he like he makes lots of mistakes and he's not very good on the ball, but he's not terrible, terrible, terrible. I can't even remember the last time he played. Actually, Phil Jones is he even still at United. I may have to start an FM save on stream um, at some point. I'm thinking maybe when the winter update comes out, but I, I hear that's not till uh, not till early March. I was hoping it'd be a bit sooner, but I may tr I may do one when um when that database comes out. We'll see, and then we'll see if we can make Phil Jones the actual goat. All right, let's get on to the end here because this is going to be a sprint again, isn't it? Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing with commentators. There's so there's. I agree with you, Bogan, because there's there's so much to the personal tastes of the viewer. So you know, they're never going to be liked by everyone. That's why it's so difficult. There's no, never going to be a commentator that everyone likes. So yeah, do it, do it. Matiar goes back. What have I missed since the Queen's stage of Valenciana? Um, good question. We won the New Zealand time trial with uh, the GOAT, Tom Scully. We failed in the road race. We tried to play the Tour de Holvar, which we failed to do simply because the stage crashed twice. So we simulated it and Hugh Carthy won the race ahead of Thibaut Pino. So we love that. We're, simula we're simulating the Tour de France this season. Um, and at the UEE Tour, I'll show you the results right now, Matiago, and anyone else who's just joining. So, stage one was a team time trial. We came eighth place. Not too bad, though. We then came fifth with Bissiga. We came ninth on uh, Yebel Hafiz with Guerrero. And it was a bad day for Rigo Aran, who's uh, probably out the GC now. Stage four, we just won. Finally, we won another race with... Uh, Ruben Guerrero, who I cannot say to save my life, but we'll go with it. Ruben, Ruben won the stage and had to damn. And uh, we've got a sprint stage, and then we have the big one, the Abel Yes, where we're hopefully going to try and win the tour with Ruben, Ruben Guerrero. That's the plan. So, uh, yeah, Matiago, hope you're good, mates, and that's what you missed. So, not a great deal. <laughs> Yeah, and that's another point, Mario, uh, Mario, that the chemistry between commentators is so crucial. On Eurosport at the moment, there's uh, Dan Lloyd and, oh, what's he called? I've forgotten his name. Um, I think it's Matt. I've forgotten his surname. Um, and they seem to have really good chemistry and they work really well together, which is great. And that's crucial, isn't it, with uh, two commentators? Oh, I love Rob Hatch, Bogan. I think he's a great commentator. He's class. So yeah, I agree with you. Wow, Matiago. I don't know if we'll be, get, we'll be going for Iran or Ruben. Because Iran's 1 minute 10 down. Ruben's 20. If he gets a good day, which he's had his first bad day here. And Iran's had his first good day. Yeah, we, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, 40k to go here now. Matt Stevens, yes, Blackwall, that's my, that's my bad. I, I did know his name. Matt Stevens and Dan Lloyd have really good chemistry, so obviously they work really well together. And that's just so crucial for a commentary duo. Yeah, that's the one. You know who I meant. Awesome, Matiago. One of the top, you were with one of the top, the top horn, French horn players in the country. I guess French horn. Awesome, my man. Sounds great. Glad it went well. So yeah, we'll see if Ruben's up to it. Um, and also, Will Bart is 44 seconds down. He, he's a good good climber. Very good, well-rounded rider. Anyway, 50 seconds here to the breakaway. And by the way, there's no real good sprinters at this race. I'll show you quickly before we get into this one. Um, okay, Nizzolo and Matthews. And then we have like Mark Saru. Sam Bennett was nowhere. But you can see the sprinter start list here really isn't great. By the way, Vanderpool's been nowhere. He's been anonymous right here. But let's get into it. We have today's sprint now coming up. So I think we have no lead out at all. That's the terrible thing. We'll put TJ on the back. TJ is going to try and sprint for it. Uh, I don't quite know how to play this, but we'll, we'll put Rich to the front. 10k to go, breaker court. 
And we do have this climb, so we do need to be careful here, actually. Yeah, they spent a lot of time together on GCN, exactly, Black War, which um, is crucial in making them work together so well, I guess. There you are. Yeah, I will, Black War. That little hill thing is exactly what I'm going to push over. Here we go. Let's try it. I'll even try a little attack over there with Rooch. Make sure our guys in the GC stay here as well. And there are ab absolutely no splits whatsoever, so that was uh, worthwhile. Oh, look at Maison. There's his jersey. Yeah, it didn't really help Blackwell, I'm afraid. <laughs> anyway, oh, we're, we're way too early here. Oh, what am I doing? I'm all over the place. There's Bennett. We have Bissiger and TJ, who's going to sprint for it for us. 1.7k to go. Here goes Bissiger. Let's try and go, let's try and go, let's try and go. Maybe follow Bennett. Maybe follow Bennett. Try and take it, but Sam Bennett's going to take the win. Uh, Bisca, yeah. Poor. Nowhere. Nowhere. Sam Bennett takes it. Eighth place. And TJ. TJ. Uh, to be fair, TJ went up one place. He went from 15th to 14th, and he beats Matthew Vanderpool. TJ's getting better, I'm telling you. TJ's getting better at these old sprints. Very sad. Yeah, yeah, Banny, he's doing really well. I don't know how to say his name. Stanislav Aniolkowski. Aniolkowski, I'm going to go with. But yeah. Nizzolo and Saru doing doing good again. Ah, oh, that was... We need the lead out man here. That was my bad for not bringing one. Um, we focused too much on the mountains, I'm afraid. Alright, so next up we do have the decisive day in the GC. And then we have Omloop, I think for finishing the race in, I guess, Abu Dhabi. Should be good. But yeah, Yabani, he's doing really well at this race, isn't he? And Aniokowski. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that for now. I'm gonna go with that for his name. Tour de Rwanda, we're missing that this year. Anyway, here we are, Pogaccia in the leader's jersey. He'll win it in real life, he's gonna win it here probably, but now Sivakov. Look at, look at these guys. We'll see what form Brigo's on. Let's get it, let's go. Come on, Brigo. Aniokovsky. Aniokovsky? Is that right? Bogan? Aniokovsky? Rather than Aniokovsky? Like Kwiatkowski? Um, TJ will win a major race this year. I'm calling it. Masiago, are you, are you talking about real life or are you talking about this save? Because there could be a difference between the two. Yabani, yeah, sixth and fourth for Aniokovsky. He's done better than Bissiga. I think we're fifth and eighth, right? We'll see what we can do on the final one. Yeah, Masiago, we'll see. <laughs> Maybe this could be it. Maybe this could be if we get a plus five with a uh, with um young TJ. This could be it. This could be his first big win. Taylor's gone for a Taylor's called it a Rubey win for TJ Van Garderen. Matt, could happen. Could happen. Ah, <laughs> Black Horse. Six riders fell and they're all yours. Yeah, PCM's a strange game, isn't it? What is that? What's the save you're playing, Black Horse? Is it a uh, new YouTube save by any chance? TJ is go. Oh, we know that, Masiago. We know that. I may have to refresh some of the emotes and try and get um, try and get a TJ one in there. Bike Exchange. Okay. Bike Exchange 21. Bike Exchange are a fun team to do, to be fair. Oh, he's recorded something earlier today, though. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay, we do get some good race days here. Sorry, I, I realise I saw that... Ooh, Oh, you guys did <laughs> but here we are we do get a plus one with Ruben plus one with a ran plus three for Craddock plus two for Barca all oh, my words so we do, do we uh, we definitely get some good race days overall we'll try and protect these two then Bissiger look at his form man I'm gonna go like this I might go on the 2014 database and do a pro cyclist with TJ, Matiago. What an idea, my man. What an idea that is. Sounds fantastic. <laughs> really does. Uh, Fia, Iran man just took pink on stage eight of my Trek save for Giro. Yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying the updates in the old Discord, uh, Fia. Keep them up. And by the, by the way, guys, 
if you're not in the discords let's see if this works you can join right there oh look at this it's, it's getting better right <laughs> but yeah you can join the discord there if, if you're not in already um talk pcm talk cycling talk other sports or anything else if you if you fancy it so yeah yeah, do fear, do. I'm really enjoying uh, reading those updates, mate. Iran for stage win and Guerrero for GC still. Yeah, Bogan. <laughs> if we do both of them, that'll be pretty impressive. That that means a one-two from those two riders. You're love, lovely, your bunny. Appreciate that, mates. One more big mountain stage on stage nine. Yeah, for the rest day, okay, of the Giro. So look at these guys attacking, just spending so much energy. Our guys sat in, chilling out. We've got, um, okay, so up the road, we do have Thomas de Gent, of course, Jean Poussin, Alexi, Anacona, and Nons, uh, Nons Peters, who we could sign next season. I like that shout, I really do. If you have any more shouts, guys, let me know. I'll add them to the uh, to the shortlist for, for signings next season. Join this one. It's not too loud. Turn it down again. I'll start with TJ tonight for the Aussie Open. Yeah, have you guys been watching the uh, the Aussie Open? I've been trying to keep up. I saw spoilers incoming, so mute me quickly if you don't want them. But I saw Dimitrov lost last night to, uh, was it the Russian qualifier? I can't even recall his name. And I saw Djokovic won, of course, today. Uh, yeah, Matiago, can't blame you. I've been watching the highlights in the mornings, <laughs> if I find the time. Uh, I haven't been staying up. Geta hates tennis. Geta hates tennis. Did he play some stage after 8th place? Of, uh, Jonas. No, he did not. Um, I don't think so. No, I think this is the next one. Yeah, we were 8th we were with, with Bisker in the last flat stage, and now we're going for the for the GC on Yebo Yes, hopefully. That's the plan. Yeah, Mario, I know what you mean. I, I haven't. I used to be more interested in tennis than I am right now, sadly. Um, not for any real reason, I guess. Oh, this is good. Should have got some water here. We we'll do that now. So again, guys, I think we try and spend the energy to get to the front here. I'm going to try and just stay 62 or something with our guys. 60. Just try and stay there like that. Hopefully, that's possible. Sviatek is participating in it, but I don't watch tennis, you have any. Yeah, I, oh, I think she's out now, actually. Uh, Sviatek. I think she went out to... Well, I can't remember. Was it Serena Williams? can't remember. Too busy watching the best team in New York that isn't the Brooklyn winning games. <laughs> yeah, mate. I mean, they are actually getting a few wins this year, the, the New York Knicks, which is shocking for all of us. <laughs> Yeah, Hallop, that was it, Matiago. That's it. Not Serena. Yeah, Djokovic. Um, yeah, Jonas. I think Djokovic might win overall again. I, I'll be honest with you. Um, anyway, the breakaway that on this occasion have a five, have a three-minute lead. Usually they have no lead at all, and there are some strong guys there. But I think they still will be caught. Come on, guys, get to the front like this. Come on. So we need to get to the front in the next few K. So I'll push these guys to 68. Why are the riders, our domestiques, able to be at the front, but our leaders not? Doesn't make sense to me. Tennis is as boring as snooker or golf, Bogan says. Wow. Sorry if any of you are snooker or golf fans. <laughs> Wizards are... Yeah, the, the Wizards are doing great, aren't they? They seem to have finally found their, their form with... Uh, Russ and um, Russ and Beal. Come on, Guerra, get to the front. Get to the front. On the left hand side. Ah, I need to get ahead of Sobrero there. Right, so we're now expecting a very hard tempo. I'm going to play this stage a bit steady. I, I don't think we're going to win the GC. I don't think that's realistic, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Yeah, Jonas, the, the Jazz have been unreal this year, haven't they? They are the Utah Jazz. So, you can see I'm trying to just save energy, but I cannot get the front, which is frustrating. With a Guerrero or Ran. I think Ran has to be our leader today, to be honest. But here we go. 
Stage really getting underway now on the Yabao Yeah, So this is the steep section. 17k still to go. Yeah, Jonas, the Jazz, their ball movement is off the charts. And their defense is great as well, usually. Yeah, Mario, I think he is. Because he, he's knocked everyone out, the qualifier. I think he's knocked out... Um, well, he knocked out Dimitrov today. But he's knocked out plenty of others too. Uh, so, I, I can't remember his name. Begins with a K. Forgotten his name. Right, so it's Honoré on the front for uh, Dekoinik. Which we're, we're doing okay, to be fair. Guerrero's struggling a bit more than uh, Abrand. So... Looks like Guerrero's not going to be able to take the GC here, guys. But we'll try, we'll try. <laughs> the breaks still have a sizable lead. I've actually never played this stage and seen the break have this big a lead, but they, they seem done. Uh, Rand's getting forced back a bit. No, yeah, of course, Jonas, yeah. I don't think he means it badly, don't worry. I think, yeah, of course, everyone prefers different sports. It's all uh, a matter of opinion. Ah, Biscuit's gone. Aran, get off the front. Get off the front. So we have 10k to go now. Not quite sure what to do here. Okay, we're now seeing a few moves. Dan Martin launching it. Okay, Dan Martin's going to launch the attacks and I don't know what I'm doing here there's so much to try and look out for Biscuit could try and protect Barton maybe look how quickly we're to the back of this group though with uh, Ruben and still we have is it winner and O'Connor up the roads there you go George Bennett attacks George Bennett is in unreal form in this save right now cheers Masiago not much left but I got a little bit <laughs> So 7k still to go. Look at the energy here. Iran stayed pretty steady, so he's looking okay. That's, there's loads of attacks going on. I'm just trying to focus on my guys, though. Now, guys, try and keep them in a good position. Ah. You can see how much Ruben's had to spend compared to Rigo because of this uh, not bad race day, but not a great one. And now we're seeing Dan Martin still up the road. The breakaway is still there, you know. Bart is done. Guerrero is going to be done, I'm afraid. So, yeah, no chance. No chance of a GC win for Ruben, sadly. But Rigo looks okay. Morty, welcome back, man. Hope you're good. W welcome back. Oh, oh, and we've just seen an attack from Alaphilippe. We're on the Queen stage of this UAE tour. So uh, I'm trying to concentrate just a little bit. And Guerrero was going to be try and be our GC leader, but you can see he's 19 seconds down in GC. He's now struggling as Aran is just getting blocked horribly. Uh, yeah, he's, he's going to drop now. So Aran's going to try and win the stage, if nothing else, but I don't think he's going to be able to. Up the road, Alaphilippe. Let's try and push this now. Come on, Rigo. Let's go. Let's go. 1.2k to go. Alaphilippe, that's done, you know. I'm going. No, I'm not. Come on, Rigo. Come on, Rigo. Come on, Rigo. Oh, it's close, but not to be. I think it's going to be a win for Dan Martin. Dan Martin wins on Yebao Yes. And it's very close. I don't know who's going to win the GC. Probably Pog still. Pog's, Pog's still going to win it. Guerrero collapsed today. Uh, but yeah, welcome back, Morty. Hope you're good. Hope you're good. Um, yeah. Hope for a bit more that stage. Yeah, Blackwall. That was a weird stage. That was a weird stage. Went, went strangely, I must say. Yeah, I haven't seen the parallel yet either. But, um, yeah, we'll see. Ah. Hope for a bit more that stage. Oh, it was, it was a weird finish, wasn't it? No, usually I, I find someone gets a big gap on that stage, but no one there. Yeah, it's close, Fear, but not not close enough, I'm afraid. Aran's there. Aran's there. He, he had a minus three on the first mountain. Um, yeah, sadly, Guerrero fell away. This has been, it's really been about stage four, hasn't it? Else, elsewhere at this race, we've been terrible. I'm finding it a bit harder with this team than I expected, I must say. Um, yeah, I find it a bit more challenging. Don't know why. 
guess it's because they're not the best team. <laughs> yeah, Matiago, completely agree. And anyway, here we are, here we are. This is this is our first chance because today we have Omelie Petnisblad, 193k, first World Tour race in Belgium, um, obviously of the season. You can see the start list, very strong, but we have Betio. We have Langeveld, Valgen, very strong team for us. Let's, let's see if we can win it. I'm up for winning this race. I really, I'm really feeling good. Let's go. Let's see if we can win on loop. Difficult to beat Dan and Julian in finishes like that, to be fair. Yeah, Morty. I mean, usually they can't last the climbs, but clearly they could that time. I mean, not usually. Sometimes they struggle a bit more in the climbs, but not on that occasion, clearly. Yeah, Omloop. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Very short. I think it's 10 days but first we have some very exciting races as well i think uae will be good this year best of the most years and tour de holvar which uh hugh carthy won for us in this state in the save because we simulated it <laughs> yeah <laughs> so um yeah we're simulating all the grand tours this year because apparently it means we win them um that's the tactic i think second will be difficult to beat on stage like this but have a good chance here. Yeah, Matiago, I think we've got a good chance. Uh, Morty, it, it's not really been. Um, I wrote a preview for it on Ruler if you, if you want to try and find it. Um, but the start list isn't really finalised yet, so it's a bit difficult um, to come up with proper contenders, you know. I think we'll wait to close to the time. Yeah, exactly. It's just kind of preliminary. Niccolo. Nicolo 91 beast thanks for the follow, my man. Appreciate that. And if anyone else is here unfollowed, not following, feel free to do so. Um, anyway, Omloop is underway. Here we go. We're here in Belgium. And we get a zero with Betiel. Would have liked to, would have liked more there. We get a minus one with Quartz. Kukalair's on a good day, though. And we get a minus three with Valgren, whilst the GOAT, Tom Scully, is on a plus three day. Of course he is. Ah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'd have liked to bet uh, some better race days. That's all I can say about that, really. Does that make Jens Kukulera our leader? <laughs> it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Um, it might do. <laughs> I'm, I was thinking we could try and get Scully in the break, but let, let's let's keep our guys here. Let's keep our guys here. Play it cautious. Because uh, yeah, usually I've found in these races the break get caught, uh, the break just get caught, kind of caught early before the climbs begin. Not really much point in it. Um, looking here, we have look at look at the quick step team: Lampert, Asgreen, Cavagna's here, Stebar as well, very strong. Pollitt, Pollitt and Sagan, what a duo they're going to be in the uh, Cobble Classics this season in real life and here. Clearly, <laughs> I mean, very strong. Quinn Simmons, Jasper Stoyven. Narsen and GVA as well. They'd be very strong. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it's not probably quite as stacked as I expect the start list to be in real life. You can see Lotto don't really have a leader you'd expect. But um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Hagrid, the break is so OP in the old Tour of Flanders version. Really, what? As in it did well. It, it does better than you'd expect, really. Because that's the opposite on current PCM, for sure. Turbo Durbo trying to go in the break. Not going to be able to, though. So we have Battistella among the breakaway at the moment. Yeah, I mean, look at all these attacks. Let, let's go on. In PCM teams like Quicks, they often ride really badly because they just go for one guy and waste energy on other good guys early. Yeah, I 100% agree with that, Morty. It's a bit frustrating, isn't it, to, to see that? Um, although, I don't know if you were here for the Valenciana stage. We had a cracking stage. Cracking queen stage of the Vault of Valenciana. Um... Which was it, it was it was mainly due to the AI because Carapaz attacks with 90k to go in the mountain stage. Um, he was caught in the end, but really made the race great. He had a three minute lead at some point. So in some races, I think the AI are just great in PCM this year. In some, they're terrible. By the way, look at these crosswinds. Look at these crosswinds we're we're experiencing. We need to get our guys to the front, I think.
Yeah, the favourites are exhausted after the, the moor and can't chase down the breakaways. Is that right, Hagrid? Mountain stages are good. I still feel they're pretty bad in cobble classics. I think Parry Roubaix is okay. I think Parry Roubaix is actually okay. I remember in my recreating history series um, that the Parry Roubaix there I played, I think it was with uh, Nicky Terpstra. That was that was unreal race. So good. Um, but probably I'd agree in some of the other cobble classics. But the mountain stages, I remember earlier this year they were very much too aggressive the AI um, attacking at every opportunity just stupidly straight away as soon as as soon as the, the climb started it would be boring because everyone would just attack and, and run out of energy but they've uh, they've made it a lot better so turbo turbo's done van emden's done we now have uh, olivier legac in the break as well so all right very interesting stuff we have 127k to go let's try and get on to um the first real cobble climbs, the Wolfenberg, the first one today. And looking at this uh, parkour, I don't think it's quite... Is this different from the real parkour? I can't tell because I think we still finish with the, the Murr, Kappel Murr, and then uh, the Bosberg, which is the real life finish. Haven't played a lot of PCM in a while, to be fair. We'll try to play some tonight and see how the air is. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Give it a go, my man. Give it a go. Pidcock's here. I think we will be starting a uh, pro cyclist with Pidcock on YouTube fairly shortly. Should be good. I, I love I love looking at Pidcock in game because he's just so small compared to everyone else. I think he's like 160 centimeters for reference, which is about 5'3". And this is a man who wants to win Paris Roubaix one day, which is great. <laughs> Because usually it's a heavy rider who wins that race, obviously. Oh, Asgreen's punctured, but he should be okay at this point in the race. So I did have a bit of practice yesterday on the Cobble Classics. I uh, played in Mario's open lobbies very briefly. Um, well, I think I did two races. Make sure you follow him, guys, if you don't already. Um, and we played towards Dorf Landeren, which was a fun race. So hopefully I'm up to up to speed here. You would look like a giant next to Pickock. <laughs> yeah, Morty. I'm I'm about six two, six three, six two, six three. Uh, so yeah, I would. <laughs> I would look like a uh, a giant next to him. Jakob, I won most of the Cobble Classics, including Bronzo with Pasqualon in the first season of my Morty career. So that, so the AI isn't the best. Yeah, I think it also depends somewhat on their difficulty because, um, yeah. Because ex normal extreme for me is a bit easy, I find. I can win more races than I'd want to, to be honest. Um, so I play 1.1, which is the perfect kind of mix for me. Yeah, one, 157, Morty. He's, he's a small guy, isn't he? So this race is just nothing happening right now. But we'll, we'll stay... Oh, okay. There's 86k to go here in Omloop. We need, we need to open this race up, I feel. I'll try and grab some water quickly first though. Should have done that. Should have done that. You've managed to win the Ronda. I fell with Van Aert and Van Der Poel. Yeah, and Jakob's won it with uh, Pascal on. Look at, the, look at these crosswinds. We need to uh, take advantage of this. Let's let's go. Let's try and... Ooh, we've had a fall. Michael Valgren's down. Michael Valgren's down. Pigcock is down as well. What are the chances, eh? Just as we're speaking about him. He's back on on his first race of the season and for the team, Valgren. Okay, should be all right. So I think we'll try and lay the hammer down here if Falcon can get back to the front. We'll try and get him back first. Yeah, Mario, 39 kilometers an hour. 39 kilometers an hour. I think, hello, Envy, Envy Mika. Welcome, mates. Welcome to the stream. We're currently in Omni Pet Newsblad with EF Nippo here in our 2021 PCM career. Pickock has beaten Vanderpool in cyclocross. He has done, but usually, kind of in the world in the world champs and stuff, um, Vanderpool was the stronger. But Pickock was often third or third or fourth in the cyclocross. So I think he won one or two. I don't follow it too closely, to be honest. Mika. <laughs> no. <laughs> so okay, we have, we've got a few climbs coming up. Vagun's back to the front. Look at these crosswinds, man. Oh, this is this could be fun. 
Just trying to wait for Valgren to get here. Then we'll try and maybe go. All right. I've paused it. That's my bad. I want to try and do this right now. Let's try and come to the front here. Yeah, Morty. Four years younger than Vanderpool. He's, oh, oh, he's really he's still just developing, isn't he? He's still a baby. He's still a baby. Uh, okay, okay. It's kind of... Right, we'll sit up. Morton's here. Come on, guys. Get to the front. We're going to try and absolutely... Okay, Valgren. Valgren's done. Valgren's done. But Lachlan Morton is right on the front here. Let's try and open this race up a bit. Yeah, it's been ages since a small rider won Prairie Bay. I have to go back to... Yeah. Bernardino. Did he win it? I actually didn't realise. I forgot. I forgot if he did. If he did. But yeah, very impressive. Um, what's going on here? Come on, guys, let's follow. Uh, right, I'm going to relay actually with Langevald as well, even though he's got 77 cobble. Uh, Scully as well. Come on, guys, let's close this. And you can see, look at these gaps that are instantly being formed. Who's behind here? We've got full Madaras is down. GVA, Benut, Cobrelli, Moscon is out the back, and we have 31 at the front. Let's go. Come on, guys. Look at this. This is what a, a Belgian classic should be like, right? Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. He knows small at 174. Yeah, Pickock is a lot smaller than, than 174, it seems. 81. Yeah, he knows. What, what a rider he was. I mean, Tour de France is Roubaix. You don't see that happening these days. Eve, I mean, can Pogaccia win the win Roubaix? Can Alaphilippe win the Tour in Roubaix? Probably not. Let's be real. Um, come on, Langevald. What are you doing? Attack up. Attack up. Protect protect Alberto. That's what you can do. Uh, but lock the Morton. Look at... Look, guys, look at this race. This is, this is lovely stuff. So, Morton's done for the day. Well done, my man. Now, uh... We do have the main man, Tom Scully, on the front. 50k to go here. 28 in the, in the group. I think I'll keep Kukala as my second option, you know. No, I won't. I'll keep Court. No, look, I'm sit up. So, look, 27 riders are here, guys. This is a great race so far. Yeah, Masiago. What a ride by Lachlan Morton. We've got Langevald and Scully on the front right now. And we have still the breakaway up the road. So 27 riders. And look, look at the riders that are out the back. I mean, Benut's here. Youngles. Youngles is way back here. What's happened to him? Alongside uh, Valgren. GVA. What's GVA doing here? He's won this race twice. Look at the mayhem that's being caused. It's Scully and Langevald. We've really... Uh, Blowing this race up right now. Put them 90 over the, the Libo climb. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Scully using his 60 hill to his advantage there. Oh, this is this is a fun race now. This is a really fun race. I'm enjoying this. Fun edition of uh, Omloop. So who's been dropped? No one. <laughs> Um, okay, so how do we play this, guys? I think we wait an attack on the Moor with uh, Betio. I think that's sensible. Yeah, Morty, I don't think he is, actually. And he's not riding it in real life this year, which I learned the hard way. Um, after including him in a preview. <laughs> uh, but yeah, where are they? I can't even see them. No, he's not here. Where well, else not here? Um, and Vanderpool's at the U UAE Tour, so he's not here either. You can see the start list. We've got Pollitt, Sagan, Lampert, Asgreen, Stebar... Stoyven, Narsen. Obviously, Stoyven won it last year in real life. Reigning champ. It's a, it's a strong start there. It's not as strong as you'd perhaps expect. So, Langevald and Scully are done. We're actually going to use Kukalair as well, I believe. Where is Christoph? Hagrid's. Great question. There he is. He's right here. So, uh, yeah. I'll show you after this climb who is still in this group. But I think these guys are probably done. Um, 
yeah, I'll show you who's in this group after this climb. Kukala is going to try and just keep it going. Nils Pollitt. Is Pollitt working right now? You have to get away from Kristoff and Sagan. Yeah, completely agree. So, Garcia Cortina. Gaviria's still here. Ooh, Gaviria's still here. But, um, yeah, look at this group. Askreen looks done. He's he's a domestique. Gaviria looks pretty done. Sagan's here. We've got Narsen, Stoyven. Leipins is here. Stibar Lampert, Boris and Hagen, EBH, favourite right now. Marisa, Legac, Ben Swift. Okay, so we, we do have some strong riders here. You should sign Romo for next year. <laughs> Mario, great shout. Great, great shout. So uh, in Mario's stream yesterday, I had Yavier Romo in for Astana and he did nothing. These guys are coming back on. How have they done that? This is the GBA group. Let's push this. What, why are they here? I thought, I thought we were gone. Come on, Kukula. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't let them back on. Don't let them back on. I do not want GVA, Corbrelli getting back on at all. And Kukula is doing a lovely job. How does Pollock have higher stamina than Christoph Hagrid? Well, I guess Pollock came second at Roubaix a few years ago. Would be my uh, suggestion. So I'm just going to follow Kukula here. He's going to go 95 again on this climb. I think he might be done afterwards. I really don't want this group to come back. I mean, Ekhoff even could be dangerous. I could launch this right now, but I'm not going to. I'm going to wait for... Uh, I might, might use Magnus Court. I could attack with Magnus Court. I'm not going to. Viviani is here. <laughs> Viviani and uh, Gaviria. So yeah, 1 minute 20, that group are not coming back on. Yeah, I mean, I'm more impressed with Viviani, to be honest, Morty. How's he still here? And Pollitt, why is Pollitt working? Like, I don't get that about PCM. Um, these guys can go to auto, and here we are, coming into the Mur. And we're going to try, I think, here. We're going to try here, guys. Uptime, 3 hours, 16 mins. There you go, Black one, mate. Anyway, look at this. Here we are. Here we are. Magnus Court is going to open it up for Alberto Betio on the Moor. And at this very point right now, we will try and move. Here we are. Betio on the attack. On the Moor. On loop. Oh, my word. Look at this. S -s 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 I can't say his name. I can't say his name at all. But he's trying to follow us up the roads. And Jasper Stoyven follow us, uh, follows us as well. We have three riders up the roads. Come on, guys. Work with me. Work with me. Uh, we got a lot of energy, Blackwell, don't worry. I'll, I'll make these guys work. So, Stoyven, um, what's his first name? I've forgotten. Siskevicius Sisk 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 is here. And here we are, we're coming to the Bosberg. I'm going to follow Stoyven right now. Actually, no. We're going to come in hot. We're coming in hot. We're trying a little move up to 9C. Can we drop Stoyven? Oh, Stoyven looks good. Stoyven looks good. Three riders at the front here at Omnip. Oh, my words. Look at that. Did not expect to see that. Siskevicius. Siskevicius. <laughs> oh my words. He is strong. He is strong right now. Narsen, Lampert trying to chase on. Sagan, EBH, Kristoff, IGC as well. Come on, let's let's not let um, Narsen back on. So Stoyven's the quickest in this group. Oh, but I want to keep pushing it. Yeah, look at this. This is this is crazy. Avaldus, I'll call him that. Yeah, yeah. Because he, he did well at Paris Roubaix a few years ago. Um, but not like this at Omloop. Narsen trying to chase on. We cannot let Sagan and Kristoff, even EBH, maybe back on. Nah, not EBH. Um, oh, he's attacking again. Look at this man. He needs to attack, to be fair. But we have 8k to go. And Stoyven's the favourite right now. We're the second favourite. These guys, can they get back on? Let's keep working. Let's keep working with uh, Jasper Stoyven. Guys, do we attack? 6k to go. Stoyven's just pulled his turn. Oh, I could try it now. I'm not I'm, I'm not going to attack. I'm, I'm going to stay here. You think, Mario? You think? I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm going to pull that turn. We have 15... I mean, they're right there, look. I'm sat on the wheel with Stoyven. Stoyven's going to have to bring us in here. He's the best sprinter in the group. Betty O on his wheel. 11 seconds, they're coming. Oh, they're here. They're here now. I'm going to sit up. Oh, we've messed it up. They're here. They're following me. Can't attack away. We're going to have to try and lead out Omloop here, guys. Eight riders here. Betty, I'm on the right-hand side of the roads. 
Going for the line. Betty O versus Garcia Cortina versus Christoph. It's very close, but Ivan Garcia Cortina is going to win Omni. Ah. Ah. Third place for us. Third place. Oh, maybe I should have tried the attack. Maybe that was my mistake there. Maybe that was my mistake there. But um, Garcia Cortina wins Omni Pet News Blads. I should have attacked. I should have done it in uh, reflection. But Stuyven should have pulled. Stuyven should have pulled. He was the best sprinter in that group. He'd have won anyway. Man. You beat Sagan. Yeah, we beat Sagan. Edvald did well. Edvald did very well, didn't he? Court's going to cruise in with Viviani. Um, yeah. Third place. We've got some big tunes on, apparently, to complement it. Um, but yeah, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, Taylor. <laughs> Avaldus. To be fair, I love that, that um, Avaldus was right there. Or whatever you've just typed is, is my, exactly how I said it, to be fair. Um, yeah, that, that made it really interesting that an underdog was right there. Yeah, Mac I mean, to be fair, if Magnus was in the group behind, I wouldn't have minded the front group getting Magnus caught because um, he'd have been there to sprint. But yeah, I maybe could have launched a bit earlier. I tried to come over so they didn't get my slipstream on the right-hand sides. But yeah, Sagan was slow. He didn't have it in the sprint look. What a win. I should have attacked Mario when you said 5k to go. I think that was the moment to try. To try. Um, but I wanted to just try and... I thought that group hadn't had a, enough of a lead. To be fair, they worked really hard in the group behind. Um, but yeah. Garcia Cortina, the winner of Omni this year. Yeah, maybe Morty. But the thing is, I was scared they were going to jump me. And obviously then it's just too late to win. Yeah. Um, sorry, how do I say that? H, H theft. Theft. H theft. Yeah. It's, it's not a bad result. Don't get me wrong. Betty, old top three at Omni. But we'd have liked to win. We'd have liked to win. <laughs> it's a good result though. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I I cannot believe how strong Avaldus was on the Bosberg. He was so strong there. He just... Like, I was planning to drop him and then he was almost gone. <laughs> that was a great race though. Really good race. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Tell me how it is. Fia, no worries, man. Yeah, Mario, he was cool. Yeah, Fia, hope you enjoyed, mate. Thanks for dropping by. Um, hope to see you around here again for the next one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we do have um, one more stage, one more race today, guys, and we'll do we'll finish up with uh, the final stage of the UAE tour. We've been going three hours and twenty-two minutes. Cheers, Fia. Cheers, mate. Thanks for dropping by. Um, yeah. Three, three hours 22 so so we'll we'll call it a day after the next stage um, but I am going to reserve something for the Giro here because uh, because it helped me a lot in my in my uh, team mobile save on YouTube and that that is five stages well uh, we'll try and book that shall we but I need to I need to remember who who's going to the Giro um, I'm actually gonna write it in chat it sounds weird that's your old Carthy. Ruben, this, oh, what what am I doing here? I'm I'm typing out, I'm typing out on the screen who's going to Jared's tally for us. There you are. There's our there's our Jared team, guys. <laughs> what am I doing? Anyway, uh, we're gonna go to this training camp in uh, Murano, Italy, because it does really help. It really really helps. I'm sure of it. Carthy the King is gonna is gonna win the Giro. Let's hope so. Uh, but we're gonna have to book it somewhere else seems it's an 11 day camp oh. that's frustrating I'll go, I'll go to this one instead because that's going to be the big mountain stages it's only going to be 5 days that's perfect that is perfect ok we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do it over to overlapping towards Dorf Landeren so Free Guerrero. Miguel. Miguel is saying, Omnip is for the week. Betio will win Rubey. Yes, precisely, my man. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. Yeah, we got <laughs> we've got Carthy. Casaicedo, Camargo, Car. <laughs> anyway, so our team is gonna be I think I've got one too many there, but it should be okay. Saicedo, Car, Camargo, 
Um, Betio. Uh, okay, can't do them. It's definitely worth doing, I'm sure of it. This, uh, this prep. If we can get it in there. Perfect, okay. So, Betio, Saicedo, Car, Carthy, Camargo. Um, we need Guerrero. Who have I missed? Biska. Barca. Is everyone right at the front? Is that everyone? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we'll, we'll take those guys to that training camp just before the Giro. Um, that should help. Okay, let, let's get on to the, uh, the final stage, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the stream today. Hola, Miguel. Indeed. Welcome. Free Guerrero. <laughs> guys, we've got some Portuguese fans here. We're going to definitely have to sign Joao Almeida next season. Rui Costa, Galthor's gone. Yeah, maybe. He seems past his best. Um, but yeah, guys, if you've got any shouts for who we should sign next season, let me know by the end of the stage and I'll add them to the shortlist to end the stream. Because if we take a look at the shortlist right now, I've added uh, Costa for you, for you there, Galthor. You can see we've got a very big big shortlist, <laughs> but hopefully we can f we can find some good riders among here that you guys have suggested. So hopefully we build a team that you guys want to see, I guess. So um, yeah, Luke Plapp, the, the young Australian should be an interesting one. Anyway, final stage to Dubai of uh, the UE Tour. Let's get it. Let's see if we can get our second stage win of the race here. Mario, your father-in-law is called Joao Almeida. Really? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's brilliant. I love that. You joked a few times about him being in pink. Yeah, you've got to. You've got to, haven't you? That's brilliant. <laughs> Would love it. Morty, any Norwegians that you'd like me to sign in particular? Galthor's suggested Owen Duhl. We'll see. We'll see. Boris and Hagen, EBH. YTC legend, of course. So can you can you guys hear the background music? Is is it too quiet? Chad Chad Hager make has gone. Okay okay that would cheers mate. Is it is it a good good volume? I because I can't work it out. I tried to listen back on the stream yesterday, but it seems a bit quiet. Not sure. The goat that is Covey. Masiago wants uh, Alessandro Covey. Haha <laughs> Morty. <laughs> I mean yeah if if uh, it's um. Joao Almeida, if it is the real Joao Almeida. Oh, here we go. Bisco, a plus four day. Let's go. Let's go. Andreas Lettnerson, that is a fantastic shout, Nicolo. A fantastic shout. Lettnerson is a class, class rider for sure. Anyway, let's go. Let's try and, uh, we haven't really been able to do anything in the GC here. Let's try and get a stage though. Oh, come on, Blackboard. I know you're a KSI fanboy, but you don't need to bring that here, mate. <laughs> that bikini. Oh, did you, Morty? Sorry, mate, I completely... Oh, yeah, he did. Lettnerson, he's a great helper. Uh, mate, I completely missed that, sorry. Yeah, to be fair, I think he's more than a helper because he's he's an elite time trialist, right? He, I think he was top 15 at the World Championships time trial last year. And... Uh, he can climb as well. He could be a GC man, Lettnerton. The boys, Taylor's saying. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna struggle to go back through these. I'll try I'll try and get them all get them all in though. I'll try and scroll scroll back through. Yeah, to be fair, Morty, I um I haven't really listened to a lot of his music, Blackwall, uh KSI, so I can't really comment to be fair. We're not I, I know get hyper, we're not playing that. Plus, this music is, um, you know, copyright free and that, so I can upload it to YouTube. Like Gunn, I wouldn't call him a leader. Would love if Lettison became a good mountain guy. If you look at some of the stages he won last year, they, they did have some uphill sections, and he, and he, he won them. So I, I think he can be a GC guy one day at a Grand Tour. Really can. Because he's only, what, 21, Lettison? So who have we got in the breakaway here? 
the poor souls in the breakaway are Holmes, Latour and Loic Vliegen wasting their, their day. Galthor's gone Luke Rowe, maybe. Yeah, Morty, yeah. Same age, Pidcock, Morty and Lettnerson, they're all the same age. <laughs> Quinton Pache's had enough with the Gianluca Brambier. Right guys, plus four. Predictions, where are we going today with Biska? We've got 77 sprint, 70, no, yeah, 77 sprint, 76 acceleration, 77 flat, 82 resistance. That's a winning, that's a winning combination, right? <laughs> let's, let's see, because he's got fifth and eighth so far, and we're behind uh, Aniakowski, the uh, Polish rider, in the sprint rankings. He's done a lot better. He came uh, fourth and sixth, as the Abani pointed out. So we got Matiago top three. Abani's going second. Blackwall, I say you're going to Dubai with him. Very bold. Very bold. And you are correct. <laughs> yes, Galdor, he is. Uh, Alaphilippe is here. He's currently fourth overall. There he is in the World Champs jersey. Do, 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 do. Wow, Net Letterson came eighth. In yeah. Morty, if you, if you check out some of the races he won last season as well. Um, I remember one stage he won latter part of last seat I think it was just a race that one day race he won solo it, it had some climbs as well he, he's good he's good yeah we'll see Blackwall we'll see podium's achievable not on my I can't sprint in this game I, I won't lie to you I, I cannot do a sprint train and I, I will say on 1.1 1 .1, it's, it's that's a notable difference I find on some stages there isn't but sprint stages I find a lot harder which is great because uh, I don't want to win every sprint with Stefan Biska, who is 74. Yeah, Morty, yeah. Lettnerson's a great shout. I'll definitely look to sign him. And I'll try and get everyone in, guys, uh, that you've mentioned. Anyway, into the final 18k here. TJ can go on Biska's wheel. He's on a plus three day. TJ can tr try and win this, right? So, Rich can just sit on uh, a ran or sit with the ran. Craddock's going to try and get us to the front with his 55 sprint. He will not be leading out Stefan. How is Bookman second in the point standings? Mika, it's because he won stage three and he came third on stage four, had to dam, and then fourth on stage six. So, he's doing, uh, he's doing well there. That's why Bookman's doing so well in the sprint. So, Quebec guys here for Nizolo on the front. Would be cool if Lettleton goes to a Grand Tour this year with Sunweb. Yeah, Morty. I hope he does. He didn't do much at Provence uh, this week, but hopefully he can do a bit more later on. Ah, uh, did you, Mario? I should, I should have been there, mate, and I'd have uh, learnt how to do it then if you won this stage yesterday. <laughs> yeah, Mika, it's a surprising result for Bookman. Because um, he's not very quick, is he? His sprint stat. My um, keyboard stopped working. There you are. Um, yeah, what does he have, Bookman? 60 sprint, 66 acceleration. So you wouldn't expect that, would you? Um, but anyway, 6K. Let's focus on uh, getting this win with Biska or TJ. 5K to go. Oh, TJ. Craddock doing his best there. Yeah, Blackwall. Jorgensen. I mean, was he 12th and 1 2? Class rides. Class, class ride. Anyway, credit's done. We have Guerrero to lead out Biscuit again today. No real lead out, but we're going to try. We're going to try and sprint right now. We're in a good position here. We're in a very good position. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Stefan. Let's go. Let's go. Bissiga going for the line. And we're going to end the day with a win. Let's go. Stefan Biscuit beats Bennett. Beats Nizolo. Come on. Let's go. Stefan Biscuit. Beats Bennett, beats Nazolo. Big win. Big win. I'm happy with that. That's a great way to end the stream. And to be fair, I think we improved as we went on. Third at Omni with uh, Betio. And then winning that with uh, Biska. I'm happy with that. We, we did all right today. We did all right today. Yeah, Yabani. Second, you were close, mate. 
Let's take a replay. I think that was a nice lead out by Guerrero. You can see they were quicker, but the, the extra kind of resistance probably helped Bisca there take it on the line. Dubs, dubs, dubs. Get the Zerka dubs in here, Blackwall. <laughs> Where was uh, Anyakowski? I'm going to watch him here. Uh, he, he, he didn't have it, did he? Uh, but yeah, that was great. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, Mario, it looks like too many riders because I had TJ at the back. Um, and obviously he's not going to win. So uh, yeah, he's just there for, for the jokes. And TJ got got top 10. He was seventh to be fair, Anjokowski, not bad. TJ again beat Vanderpool. TJ's always been beating Vanderpool in the sprints. So yeah, that was a great race. Pogaccio wins the GC ahead of Dan Martin and Bookman. We were only 10th uh, place there. Iran had a poor day on uh, Yebo Hafit. Bookman did win the climbing classification, Matthews winning the points, and, and Biscuit was second actually. Maybe could have taken that if I tried to get some intermediates. Had a young rider. And uh, we cannot win the Movistar classification. That goes to Ineos today. All right, guys. Well, I, I really enjoyed uh, all those races today. Thanks for, thank you all for joining me. We'll, uh, we'll add some riders to the shortlist now, and then we'll, we'll call it a day, shall we? Three hours and 35. It's been a long stream, but um, a good one. I, I mentioned that we'll do a uh, that we'll do a um, a 24 hour stream at some point, a charity stream. I mean, fair play to those guys. Like I'm tired after doing three and a half hours, <laughs> but um, yeah, one day, one day. That was a good race. I enjoyed that race a lot, and I enjoyed Omni a lot as well. Morty. 100 bits, thank you mates, appreciate that. Far too kind of you, far too kind of uh, all the uh, support today on the stream. There's been lots of you have supported, um, so I won't name you because I'll, I'll forget you most certainly, but thank you everyone who supported the stream today, far too kind. Um, yeah, let's add a few riders to the to the shortlist, the Evergreen. This shortlist is gonna become a meme because it's gonna be so bloody long, so long. It's gonna be so long, it's unreal. Uh, but anyway, uh, where, should we, where should we start? I'll scroll up through the chat. Jorgensen's a good shout, actually. I'm going to add him, Blackwall, because you mentioned him on uh, on Von 2. See you, Swagson. Thanks for coming, mate. Um, so we'll add Matteo Jorgensen. We'll add Matteo Jorgensen. We'll add... Uh, Lettnerson, of course. We'll add Andreas Lettnerson. Andreas Lettnerson on the shortlist. Um, there was one or two more, wasn't there? Du Bois, I'll add Du Bois. Du Bois, DBH and Duel, and then we'll call it. So, uh, we have Owen Duel. Is Du Bois at Lotte? Maybe. Du Bois, Duel and EBH. Awesome. All right. weird this song came on when i ended the stream last time how strange <laughs> yeah it's gonna be a long list Radsport. it's gonna be a very long list very long list oh boy wow lettison is on morty don't you worry don't you worry he is on let's take a look so uh Lettison. yeah there he is so we've got a very nice very nice shortlist here very strong riders um but yeah guys yeah no worries no worries um, let's see what we have up next. So we will start, I think, with uh, the Italian races, Strada. We have Paris Nice and Torreno as well, and that will probably take a while. Maybe we can try and play Milano San Remo too. Um, and that probably will be the next stream. Not sure when it will be, maybe Thursday? Actually, no, probably not Thursday. Probably more likely Friday or Saturday. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure you hit follow now, guys, if, if you're not following and enjoyed the stream today. Um, and yeah. You can catch up with the save as well on the old YouTube live channel. I'll, I'll I'll plug it one more time. Go and oh yeah, more to you, mate. We're on the we're on the same wavelength. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the YouTube live um, will have all the replays of the stream. So if you miss part or want to catch up at all, you can catch them there. Um, this one should be up tomorrow. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for coming. Really appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>